Well, first of all, hi, Amy, and also thank you for the raid, Pumpkin BT. Welcome in, welcome in, raiders. Uh, what were you playing? Hopefully, you enjoyed. Hopefully, you enjoyed what you were doing. Uh, oh my God! Safe to say you're a VTuber, right? Let me uh do a quick shout out for you. Yeah, I am playing a. I'm playing a Final Fantasy 14, or you know what I like to call Crisis Core. It's, it's just my favorite Final Fantasy game. I'm not the biggest one. Always a pleasure to support people. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let me get you. No, no, I'll get that set up first. And also, how you doing, sis? Love to see you in my chat. Pumpkin VT. Play, play again. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm just, I'm, I'm still setting stuff up. I'm still setting stuff up. What's it called? But yeah, yeah. I'm playing a Final Fan. I'm playing Final Fantasy. Also showing off an updated PNG model. And. Uh, What's also being said? Let me see what the. I want to see what I want to. See what, I'm legitimately curious. A uh, V, a uh, pumpkin VT. What's your uh, VT? What's your VTuber model? What's your VTuber model look like? Point Let's see. Yeah, we can do a quick little peek. See what's up. Wait, does it not go through? Uh, exclamation point. Oh, I didn't hit enter. Ah. Uh. Oh, you're a PNG tuber as well. Nice. Oh. That's, um. <sighs> We're never doing that again. Alright, well, I'm just gonna stay the fuck out of the water. <laughs> and nobody clip that. It gives you mining exactly fatigue. Oh no, it gives me more oh, than just that fatigue. Really? I'm tired of this sh wait, it's, wait, it's a whole new. I thought it was a remake. Uh, what's it called? Hmm. Well, Bink. Actually, what's it? Zach has a new. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm legitimately. Like, well, to be fair, I played this on the bus a lot. I honestly can't. Bink, I honestly can't remember if, because uh, we used to we used to play. Uh, used to did you have this on, when you had the PSP when we used to go to school together? Actually, do, would you like to hop on and be a co-host for to just for this uh, just for the short stream? Please tell me Seb, uh, Sephiroth. I still is I still Superman. We gotta see. We gotta see. Let's go. And let me gift you a sub, Amy, because I do well, I do not want you missing any 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 of this. I need to get a better. Room. You're 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 a kind be you you guy. You, wait, you gay? Yeah. I try, I try. But no, Bink, would you like to would you like to try? Would you like to co-host with me with this or no? Because this is honestly this is gonna be a short stream because. There's no way I'm gonna stream this entire. There's no way I'm gonna stream this entire game in its in its entirety. I see. Yeah. Because I, because I, like I don't know, what's it called? I, I don't. Know, I treat RPGs as who co-hosts. Oh my, uh, my uh, friend Sir Bink. What's it called? I was just asking because they they're also the biggest Final Fantasy fan I know. Give them a. I can't. I got D and D version. No problem. No problem. Next time. Then next time. What's it called? There's like a very big, uh, they're like a very big, uh, I, I'm only asking because like they're like the biggest Final Fantasy nut I know. And I know nothing of the series, but apparently I have trash taste, but that's what makes me me. Alright, alright, but you enjoy your, you enjoy your, D, you enjoy your D&D tonight. If you want company, uh, can try myself. Oh yeah, Amy, do you have a mic? Yeah, let me, let me grab my headphones. Yes, they did change Zach's voice. Oh. I don't know how I feel about that. Can you try my phone to see if it works one sec, no problem? I had to put away way, way, way after you moved. Oh, okay, okay. Hey, I'm actually legitimately excited. Uh, I can try to... Okay, so, um... 
Let me pull up Discord. I'll, I'll just call you to the Discord then. Okay. Hello. Howdy, howdy. Hello. Hi. How you doing today, Amy? I'm. I'm. I have just finished some eczema shopping, so my brain is Zach, like a dried focus. prune. But other than that, I'm doing good. No nice. I'm doing good. That's, a, that's always happy good. To, happy to see you. And happy, and ha you. And happy to see you, and actually hear you. <laughs> I'm, is it coming for okay? Am I clear enough? Yep, you sound good. You're in the yellow on OBS's end. Hello to you too. What's okay. Let me let me pull you a little closer to me. You're um what's good? Uh you don't have reactive Fugi setup, do you? I do wait, have you actually got I I didn't I haven't got the stream open. Have you got a picture of me up there? Yes, because uh, I have reactive Fugi. What it does is whenever I pull somebody in a Discord call, your Discord icon is your technically PNG tuber. But like you know, um, what's it called? And okay. I, what's it called? Also, I'm I'm upset. They removed the the the, the Gungaga. No, Pink why? They removed Gungaga. But that's his that's his town. How do you remove Zach's like town? That's where is that's his whole deal. Uh, right? like Pink Pink Pink, you're not breaking my heart, are you? Oh, no more classic um, me. Oh, that's what you meant. Sorry. Um, let me put on my glasses, man. I really need to um. Really need to uh, get this get this set up. Oh, what's it called? Uh, Amy, I didn't know you, I didn't know you were a Final Fantasy fan. Um, hold on, let me let me just make sure there aren't two streams left. What? Um, thank you. Uh, I am. I I mean, it's that thing of like, uh, I'm always that Final Fantasy fan in exile. That thing of. I say my favorite Final Fantasy is this, but you know, it takes a while to finish them. My favorite is Seven, and I've never finished it because Seven is just like I saw Tifa and went, I'm gay. And also, um, I, uh, you know, we are, we're all gay for Tifa Lockhart. Let's not pretend otherwise. But I, um, <laughs> um, and Aerith is great. All the, all the women in Final Fantasy VII make me go, yeah, no, this was the right choice. This is definitely a choice, and I made the right one. Um, but my favorite Final Fantasy that I've never actually finished may not be Seven. It might be Tactics, and specifically Tactics War of the Lands. Like, I just... Final Fantasy Tactics is probably the greatest. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> I realize my screen... I, looking at what's going on does help me. Yeah, unfortunately, um, you, you won't be able to hear it because I didn't expect to have like co-hosts, so like I didn't have it said. No, in, no, I, I haven't said in collab chat. It's it's okay. I'll trust you to tell me if the wrong Sephiroth is, okay. is being. Oh, because this... it will be wrong. Yeah, but Zach looks so good. Zach looks good, oh, and it's also on the. Let's be honest. Okay, I love the Switch. I'm watching my fiance play. Uh huh. Spokemon's Violet right now at the same time. Yeah. Which is very cool. Um, the Switch handling, like, bleeding edge, like, Square Enix RPG graphics is not something. Like, when it goes well, I'm really happy because the Switch is not always the best at handling high def video games. So. Uh, that's true, but this is also a remake, so, the, the, you know, there is a bit of a foundation to work from. There is. There is also, it's like. Also, I definitely think the Switch can handle PSP games. Like the PSP, we're, we're past the point where the PSP is like, whoa, dude, that's like too hard to handle. The 3DS like proved um, 3D graphics can be handled on engines that are smaller than consoles and handled well. You know, they, they can look good. They can look good. But also it's, 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 it's that thing of I really want it to work well because you know it's 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 your boy. It's everyone's favorite boy. Where's Kunsel? <laughs> Give me Kunsel. Where is the boy? Was the, oh, let, me just ca let me just catch up a check. TBH, the Switch can handle games. The latest Pokemon game is just not well made, in my opinion. Like graphically, they really could have done better. Yes, true. Like uh, yeah, like because Arceus was amazing. I don't know why Violet is so glitchy, but 
It is what it is, but also on the whole thing with Zack, listen, I'm straight, but listen, I'm no one's that straight. I fucking love Zack. <laughs> My 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 partner can't help but enjoy that, and I agree. Um, no, let's be honest. Zach is always the test of you think you're a straight man. You aren't, but it's okay. You take your time. You think you're heterosexual. You see the black man. Sweep his hair back, and you're like, no. he can be my first class any day of the week. Damn. Damn. And all the images oh. realize Oh yeah, it's been so it's been so many years since I've touched this game. Yeah, yeah. I last time I played Crisis Cool was um possibly fourteen years ago on PSP, and being like, man, they put a Farm Fantasy on the PSP. That's so cool! Wow. Next, they'll be putting like a Kingdom Hearts on the PSP. Actually, um, then, that's where I, like, I, um, what's called, I kind of really fell in love with Zack when I, uh, played Kingdom Hearts, uh, Birth by Sleep. And yeah. the, the, the whole thing with him, it's just like, I just love his optimism, that's why I like Zack as a character, he's just, he, yeah, he's my personality, mm -hmm. like, no matter how bad life gets, you can always find something positive in it. The Wii U was the era, was the year of Luigi, the PSP was the era of Zack there. Let's be real. True, true, true. <laughs> that was his time. That was, why was he not? In like the city as a costume or as a character, that's weird. He, hey, wait, he, he was never he was never in the city again. I don't remember him being in the city, which is weird because Tifa turned up in the city Duodecim. I can't see the chats. Obviously, feel yeah. free to correct me if I'm pulling this out of my ass. You're I like, don't remember. I mean, you like golden been, retriever um... characters? <laughs> well, listen. Uh, to be fair, okay, Bing. To be fair to my PNG, my, my, my one of my PNG tuber mamas is a golden retriever. <laughs> yes, dogs are good. Dogs have produced only good things. In, in this case, art and tits. So really, only good good things. Also, on like as a aside, Pokemon Violet is the most buggy glitch shit ever. It is also incredibly good. Like I'm I'm so shocked at how that game is so glitchy, and yet I have so much fun playing that game. I've done, I found a glitch where yeah, this is a complete aside while like, you kick this monster's ass. Yeah. And before the cutscene ends and Sephiroth comes out, it's like, hey, it's me. It's, um, it's, I'm so mad. I went to also pick up the, the freaking uh, Sephiroth Amiibo today. Pulled out. There's a Sephiroth? Oh, yeah. He's in Smash, of course. Yeah. yeah um, well, I mean, it's not even for me. It's for my, it's for my bud who lives, in, who lives in England. What's it called? Mailing stuff from, co from country to country is expensive, but I do it anyway. Yes. I don't know, I'd love, to help my home I'd love to help my homies you're out. Good. You're a kind kind being, but also, um, it, you do realize if it's the wrong stuff for the police, refund the game. Oh my like, god! Like, just... Sorry, I forgot my... Oh shit, take- oh, take two's here! Damn. Hey, why is- wait, why is your- uh, this is my first time here. Why is that emote the Robocop 2 Robocop thing? I, why, lo I, why? Love, I love Robocop, it's like one of my favorite movies. Robocop is cool, but why specifically the Robocop 2, I, uh, I am skeleton, I must die? Well, it's also because, uh, what's it called, I kinda, it was, it was a running joke because it freaks me out because how randomly it pops up. Yeah, you, it, you get scared, you want to scare yourself with your animals, that's a fair point, I can understand. It's also, it's also, it's also a running gag too. <laughs> yeah, I, it's like, um... And that's maybe weird to talk about other VTuber or YouTubers or streamers emotes, but specifically Life Heroes one, where it's it's a clone raid and it's just all the Smiths from the Matrix with Shadow saying, "Let's get moving." Mm -hmm. I love that one. That's that's a good one. Let me give. A little, I don't know. Let me just. I, I want to pin. I want to pin this comment. I got. I got Take Two in my chat. Wow, she's oh. She's been following me everywhere. No, I'm joking. Awesome. I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. You're not. What's it called? If I had if I had a stalker, I'm glad I'm glad it's an attractive one take. <laughs> Wait, that was Sephiroth. Was, did Sephiroth talk? Uh, yeah. No, I, I didn't really hear it. Like, oh, why is that? Why is eyes turn black? Oh yeah, it's Genesis. No, not Genesis. Fuck, I forgot his name. On Gino. Geo. Geo. What's it called? On Geo. What's it called? Actually, let me give let me give uh. Let me give Tay. Let me give Tay a shout out. Uh, send her some love. Oh yeah. Because uh, also I stream. On, I also stream on YouTube too, and I try to try to get um. Yeah, I try. To, I try to like. I YouTube doesn't have a lot of stuff that uh Twitch has. 
Also, I need to give you. Yeah. I, I need to make sure you get a shout out too, because I know you plan on you plan on debuting soon, right? Yeah, I'm gonna debut this year. I will be here, and then I will figure out. Liv will figure it out. I'm gonna figure out how to do it. Nice. Uh, it's hopefully gonna go well. I'm. Why? I'm obviously aware, like. Like, I also like a place to stream that's um, open to loot stuff, like, because loot tubing and also... Understandable. Um, I know that Twitch has, like, a complete phobia of character models with gigantic tits, which is just, you know, transphobic. You know? It, it kinda... I can't believe Twitch would be transphobic like that. Yeah, you you would think like uh, Twitch is like you know all about trying to help people, but then at the same time they're also stifling them. It's 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 sad. Yeah, Embrace it's like why would you be the you know chest binder to me Twitch TV? Why would you do that? You Come on, man. Oh wait, I, uh, Tay uh, Tay likes your uh, Tay likes your uh, image. If you notice, um, you. Tay, if you notice, this image is actually drawn by the talented Easier. Yes, it's drawn by the same person that Cyber's. PNG is designed by it. and yes. also, again, massive boobs. Such a good time. Yeah, this is. Well, you hear me? This is yeah. a yeah. What's it good? If you ever ever pull me out, I'll be sure to have this one because technically we are PNG tuber siblings. <laughs> we are. We are very true. There's another person that I wish I, I'd have to venture onto the literal hellscape that is Twitter to check. I love your model. Oh, thank um, you. But there's another person who's like a cute witch. Who was done by uh, Asia as well, and uh, I need to talk to her again because haven't in a while. But I think like we are the free VTubers designed by her because um, obviously understand getting a VTuber design yeah it can be a bit of money, but it's definitely if you're looking to make a VTuber or PNG, uh, I'd recommend Asia easily. Uh, this is also this is the first art for this character design for Amy. Uh -huh. But um, the actual PNG design I have is super sick. It has like my favorite design aesthetic ever, which is the jacket over the shoulders. You're not wearing it. It's just draped over your shoulders, which is possibly the one reason that I play Kai Kiske in Guilty Gear Strive. But, you know, it's <laughs> it's definitely it's a money maker. If you see a character with the jacket just draped over the shoulders, I am incredibly gay for that character. Uh, there's sorry. the squad. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm just super no, excited. I'm Fantasy. super. I, I get it. Don't you worry. Final Fantasy squats. We we take our time. We let it happen. Exactly. Listen. That's how you get. That's how you get the. That's how you get that perfectly shaped ass. Mm -hmm. When you have a mini game dedicated to squats, led by a trans woman potentially in FF7, then yeah, you you wanna you wanna be into this. You let it fly. You let it go. Also, is this console? I hope it's good. He's a good boy. One of the first I, to try to remember. I don't know. I, don't, I think Cloud comes later on. But uh, also, oh, to those who wonder who um, I'm shouting out, I, I shouted out my friend Sir Bink. They're also a... They recently became a live 2D VTuber. I just wanted to, you know, give them some... Give them some much needed love. You know, they're... They're, they're, they're also... Oh, crap. I just realized one of my uh, other PNG... Man, everybody's streaming today. I chose a weird day. I chose a weird day to stream. Like, to do a bonus stream. No, that's it's it's you've made history. You made history because this is the first stream I've ever done on Twitch. What's it going? Technically, you may be on it. Oh wait, no, someone just redeemed head pass. Let me just put that. Ah, crap! I forgot to set up the. I was supposed to, I was supposed to set up the. Hey. Set up the thing. Also, this is another model done by a uh, Paper Dawn. I love Paper Dawn stuff. Uh, Dawn did. Uh, Dawn did it, uh, art of me saying Ace Rights. Uh, oh my god, I forgot about this weirdo. This soldier weirdo. He's just the dude with the really, like, the blonde hair and the glasses. Because I swear he's, like, one of the many people who just gets fucked over by Genesis, like, super hard. I mean, you could. The By the way, you, you, could say Gen you could say Genesis kind of just, like, screws everyone over. Yeah. But then again, Genesis is screwed over by just. All of the happenings of Shinra. Shinra is not very nice. That's a spoiler, I'm afraid. But I'm going to see it. So. I mean, I mean, I think that's like, I think the Shinra, Shinra not being the best is kind of like common knowledge. Like you know, uh, what's it called? The dog jumps out of the window in Resident Evil. Sonic runs fast. Oh. Mario eats mushrooms. You know, that's, credit to Resident Evil remake. Fuck with me with that. I played that the first time, and the window sh like cracks a bit. And I'm like, you, but you. You knew. You knew what was going to happen, and you talked at me, and you succeeded. Well, good mm -hmm. job. 
Mm-hmm. Capcom. Capcom. Well done. It will. Uh, oh. Capcom has. I think. I, I'm starting to think Capcom has finally re-reached its Cap God status. Yeah, I'd say so. If it, if you are not, okay, if you're a fan of like Devil May Cry, and different, like, if you're a fan of Resident Evil, it's the same thing. On if you're a fan of Pokemon, it's mm-hmm. like you should be happy, and also you should let the other people complain about their stuff because you are eating the best. Mm-hmm. Okay. Remember, Pokemon fans and Nintendo, I get you may not like everything about Scarlet or Violet, and that's totally fair, but you are eating the best out of every fan group on the Switch, other than Fire Emblem fans, for some reason. Oh, hey, it's Carlos. This is being played on the Switch. Yes, this is being played on Switch. It's running surprisingly well so far. Yeah, yeah that's, a good, that's a good point. I was wondering what the frame rate and stuff is like on it, because, you know, it's... It's the Switch. Important. Yeah, like on the, the for, on the PSP, wasn't it locked to 30 frames per second? It probably was. Like, it's no, like, it's no big surprise, honestly, if the PSP had it locked. It was never like a big. I mean, like, this is from the series where pre-rendered backgrounds were the coolest thing ever, and also how the game was for a long time, and cutscenes were like chugging. But obviously, um, I'm not gonna say it ruined it. And I, I mean, it's not bad. It's good. Final Fantasy VII Remake may may have created like an expectation that this would like maybe run or be similar in graphic fidelity to Final Fantasy VII Remake. Um, it's made on the same engine, maybe. Mm-hmm. But um, like I, I was always under the impression this is not going to be like it. It appeared. I uh, no FF7 remake wasn't like very new. It was out a little bit ago, but I feel like this came out too soon for this to like be as graphically fidel- fid- fidel- fidelity, graphically graphically good as a FF7 remake because I feel like maybe it was turned around quite quickly in development because uh, FF7 remake wasn't super long ago and uh, yeah, all that stuff. I I still am. I'm actually upset because um, FF7 Remake obviously came out on PS4. This has a PS4 version, right? Uh, School yes, it has a PS4. Uh, I believe X- it's, it came out on everything except for um, the last generation consoles. So obviously it's not coming to. Um, yeah. wait, it's Xbox, Wii. not Xbox One. It's the one, the, the new one, the new Xbox. That's where it's on. Yeah, it's on Xbox 360. Ooh, that, feels, Series X? that feels tanky though. Oh, hell, I mean, hell yeah. Who doesn't love a bit of tank controls on that? Hell yeah. Wait Series X. Thing. Thank you, Bink. Thank you. Yeah. Series X. Uh, yeah, but it came out on PS4. And if it came out on PS4, my brain's like, okay, like, why didn't... I'm still salty about this, because they gave it away for free and stuff. Why didn't Integrate come out on PS4 as well? What, why did you what, decide... What's Integrate? Integrate is the DLC slash middle bit that occurs between FF7 Remake Part 1 and then not yet to come out FF7 Remake Part 2 that is only going to be on PS5. And I'm still upset because I'm like, I don't own a PS... What what mystical creature do you know that's hanging around with a PS5 strapped to their back? I don't know anyone... (laughs) Outside of maybe a few content creators and people who are lucky who have a PS5, because I mean, it was hard to get. My friend uh, Sir Binka, they have a, uh, they have, a, they have a PS4. I mean PS5, and I'm, I'm like, like, lucky, you what, lucky, lucky, lucky. Yeah, what Faustian pact did you make to get that machine? Because, like, I feel like a lot of games that should have been PS5 only are releasing PS4 versions potentially due to like you know the hampered. That acquisition and release schedule because obviously a bunch of them <laughs> i can't believe i have to say this a bunch probably got bought up to either you know used to sell off to people or for crypto farms which is a real thing i have to say that in is, the 21st century that is actually or, that is so sad it is actually pull one out in the chat type an f in the chat for crypto farm ps lives. Yeah, F, and, um, yeah, F in the yeah. chat because seriously, we are destroying up, we are destroying our own planet just to get a digital money that does, that's not really going to exist. That's not really real, and to deprive you of the ability to play Demon Souls remake. 
take that, everyone. Chat. You can't play it. You oh, can't God, play it. I'm you still, need I'm it. still mad about that. I you can. Oh wait, I gotta. Wait, wait. This has been more than five minutes. Oh, sorry, not paying attention. Let me turn off the head pads. I have, to, I have to finish setting. I was supposed to set up. I was supposed to finish setting up. A uh, dragon. I was supposed to finish setting up dragon fire. I mean dragon fire trigger fire, so I can like all my all my uh, redeems will be automatically. Oh, oh, that's cool. Yeah, the, no, um, I, um, the VTubing community has been surprisingly helpful to me. It's crazy. You cleared the mission. It's almost like you're deserving of the help and people like you. It's almost like you've got a nice concept and you know people want to help. Yeah, that the idea that people like me. That's I'm still getting used to that. With that said, people people should like my PNG tuber sister because she is starting. She is starting streaming soon. So let me give you a shout out. While I have ten viewers. We can get you. We can get you a boost of numbers. I didn't have to do that, but that's that's really sweet. And also remember, everyone, uh, Amy Adams here. That's my name. It's to say, do not let PS5s become Ethereum bombs so that you can't play Final Fantasy VII Part Two Remake. That sucks. Fight, fight Bitcoin so that you can play FF7 Part 2 on a PS5 that you own. That's yeah. not farming off somewhere in, like, a Russian Bitcoin farm. Which is, like, the actual... There are things you say which aren't, like, fantastical. They're just outlandish in, like, a really sad way. Where you think about that and go, why is that happening? And the answer is not a good one. It's not. You don't. You don't come away feeling good from this. You know, it's the a it, it's a crazy world. It's a crazy world when um, uh, when it's a it's a cra we live in a crazy world when re when fantasy makes more sense than reality. It's 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 very like it's it's like genuinely a little bit of it gets me down in like a, a way like. I'm not even kidding, like, PS5s are so extortionate sometimes to get, and also, um, I mean it when I say, mm -hmm. I'm sometimes thinking some of the new generation stuff that's coming out, multi-platform, would have been PS5 only if it hadn't been for, like, this, like, the shortages and the amount of, like, the reduced, like, buying upkeep in people, like, upgrading to them. Don't like forget Street Fighter the, 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 6. Don't forget scalpers. Street, yeah, Street Fighter 6 is coming out. But then it says coming out on PS4, PS5. I kind of looked at it and went, like, graphically, it's very pretty. It kind of what I thought was going to be a PS5 only game, but not only do you know you want the widest base possible. I maybe think that maybe it did get a PS4 version because not as many people had a PS5 compared to a PS4. And you want like the big install base, and PS5 maybe just doesn't have that outside of uh, like a few like a out. good number of lucky people, um, and a huge amount of like content creators and people who needed it, need to invest in that to get good you know luck. the content going. But yeah. like it's not as uh... and also um yeah obviously this coming out on PS4, it's kind of surprised, but you know obviously it can run on PS4, but pay for company doesn't have to do something or they can make a graphically well, graphic fidelity well, let, me like get, high res let me get them. let me get the stretch out because carlos just redeemed it thank you for the stretch carlos Ugh. sorry continue i didn't mean to interrupt i just gotta i have, I have to no, i have to acknowledge okay. chat it's a it's a it's a thing i do you have to <laughs> you have to acknowledge i guess no it's okay i am it's it's thing of like PS4s, just everyone still has them. I I got given a PS4 as a gift by my fiance. They're very wonderful. Mm -hmm. But also, um, it's like PS4s. I I don't really know anyone who doesn't have one, unless like they are just like I do not want this, or like I'm just a fan of like just Nintendo or just Xbox, which that still exists. But you know, you, it's okay. We're all we're all older now. If I really still think as I've gotten older, just Get the thing the game is on. Play that. Have fun on whatever that is. You, yeah, if you haven't, you, if you haven't played on it. Mhm. Mm yeah, I. If you wanna, if you have it, play it. If you have the means to play it on that, because um, I uh, I have a Switch. Switches are great. I'm a big fan of the Nintendo Switch. I should add um, you. I should add you on Switch actually after this. Yeah, that would be cool because then you can just beat me in Mario Kart because I uh, I like Mario Kart and cannot win at that game.
But then again, Mario Kart is a hellscape of death competitiveness that just, you know, dreams go to die in. So I think that's fair. You know, that's just how it is. Well, Mario Kart also, I, I, also, I just like playing as my me because I love to do self-inserts. Uh, that's why my that's why I'm scared my fan fictions are gonna end up coming up coming to light if I ever that's the thing that worries me if I ever make it big I'm worried my fan fictions will be found <laughs> oh, never worry about that just go all right then you want to find the, these that's your if you unbury this pile no it's, I forgot I forgot my password <laughs> don't worry if it ever comes up I'm just gonna laugh at it. I'm just gonna laugh at it I'm like oh yeah yeah I was super into that now I'm more now I'm more even worse degenerate <laughs> Good. When I um, when I when they find my fan fictions, I hope they they understand like the risk that they've made. Let's go. Oh, wait, also let me just catch up with chat. All right, the crypto shit is the reason why FF14 didn't have enough servers to accommodate the amount of people that logged in for Endwalker. It's messed up. Uh, your fan fictions what? will if you keep bringing them up. You do. You know, I'm honestly curious if I am honestly curious if the, I'm honestly curious if that old Wattpad account is going to be found or not. I'm just it's just something I started when I was 16. No, hold, oh, 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 sorry, apart from the fact that, oh yeah, Wu Tai. We're gonna get, uh, also, we're gonna get the legendary lion. Is Angel's voice actor different? Are we not gonna get, uh, you springs about wear, tear, and rust? And that would suck if we do that. Uh, the man who doesn't use his buster sword, because he's like, but then using it would mean that it would break. It's like, what? What are you saying? What? I love you, Angel, you weirdo. But what were you saying about crypto? You were uh, saying about like crypto stopped FF14's final DLC. No, I, I was reading. I, I, I was reading a Sir Binks uh, thing. Uh, they were saying the crypto shit is the reason why FF14, uh, Final Fantasy 14 didn't have enough servers to accommodate the amount of people that logged in. Wait, am I recording? I forgot. Am I recording stream? Because I, I, I just realized something. Okay, good. I am. I am recording because I do upload these to YouTube. Hello, everyone. How's it going? Hello everyone, welcome to YouTube. I am Amy, friend of Cyber, and you're watching Twitch FF7 Crisis Core Reunion Twitch. Like, com like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Lap the like button like you're slapping your fist on the table, frustrated at how crypto is stealing all your PS5s. Uh. Slap it down. No, Think no, of like, it like that. Yeah, no, like, like it. Your... Yeah, hit that like button three times. One to turn it off, turn it, turn it on, and then <laughs> just confirm it, right? Yeah, to confirm. Need to confirm. Are you a robot, or are you are you a Ethereum robot? Are you farming with the Ethereum right now? Please stop watching the video. We don't want you here. But if yeah. you're like every everyone else, if you're not an Ethereum robot, please, please keep watching this classic remake of a PSP game. Very cool. Zach's in it. It's so cra it's so crazy. I'm playing this for Pro Controller, and I have a second I have a second thumbstick, right? And I'm, I can move the camera now. Oh hell yeah! It's just the little things. Like, I, it's the little things I like. That. You could not do that. Also, it says that you've minimized your application. Sit tight. Stream pause. Wait, stream pause. On my on my uh, on my ends. I I have. There you go. Hey. Whoa, that was weird, Thank huh? You. Let me just minimize this real fast. And re wow, OBS is okay. OBS was just acting up for a second. OBS, come on now. You're not an affair in league with the Ethereum bot, right? Well, right, it, OBS. Well, I mean, you know, it's got a lot of machine, a lot of machines work together. Hmm. AI art. Oh no, they're in with the AI artists. Keep an eye out. Ah oh, man, technology's get technology is getting so weird, man. It's crazy. You sound like the the skeptic. You know, there's always that person at the start of a Pokemon game who's like. Science is amazing, isn't it? Imagine you're the person at the start of that esoteric Pokemon game that's like, man, science is really weird right now, huh? No, yeah, I mean, I am yeah. I am what you call a person who questions everything. The chip shortage is the part of the reason why they're... Uh, oh, this is actually at you, Amy. The chip shortage is the part of the reason why there was a four-hour queues in FF14 when Endwalker expansion dropped. I don't play Final Fantasy XIV, I don't know. All I all Fantasy I all I know is two is things cool. about Final Fantasy. I like Kingdom Hearts and I like Crisis Core. And Ten is my favorite game because I have such a man crush on Orin. I don't oh. know. It's just it's just it's that Bushido it's that Bushido style that just gets me. It's okay. Everyone is a little bit gay for Orin because he was the coolest. He was. I'll be okay. You'll get it. 
I'm going to say this, and some people are going to go, oh, I see. And some people are like, what? Orin for Japanese role-playing games is what Wolverine is for Marvel Comics. You look really? at that, man. Is, there, is he uh, actually that popular in Japan? No, he's the, like, kind of, like, low, deep voice dude who's, like, an edgy semi-samurai guy who's really strong and cool. And everyone's like, I love that man so much. Put him in things that don't make... Orin in Kingdom Hearts 2 is unbelievably cool. I didn't know who he was, but he was, like, so cool. Like, like uh, yeah. Well, you Hades, this is my story. And also, when I actually played FF10 a bit, him at the start, when it plays Other Worlds, the hard rock thing, while Xanakin, the thing happens to Xanakin. There were two types weird. for a male character. Grizzled old man with big sword or golden retriever type. <laughs> yes. There are no other two. That is how you build male character. And of course, they're both gay. Look me in the eyes. They don't pretend. They're both gay. And they're dating each other. That's, good. That's how it is. Listen, or listen, Orin uh, yeah, Orin drink Orin drinks Orin drinks because that's how he knows he's free, right? <laughs> he he's looking for that right guy to share that drink with. If only it was me Oh, it's it's okay. It Come on. Oh wait, here he goes. Look at the sword. Oh, fucking, I'm not using it though. Fucking Buster Sword. It. Yeah, no, you don't get it until like halfway through the game. You know, I've never actually seen you use that. Don't you think it's kind of a waste? Um, you sprint about wear, tear, and rest. Hmm. I see. Why? Do, the most, like, I get it. And I, I, as someone who is understanding my own experiences with OCD, I definitively understand not wanting to use something because when you use it it will be used and then you can never unuse it but it's the buster sword Angie. oh come on I, it's so cool and big oh man i, I oh man I, I fucking i got um i got angel in my goddamn my uh what do you call it the thing the the, the wheel i forgot the name of it the wheel the oh yeah the the slot machine What's it the good old crisis call a slot machine here we go buddy I may or may not have a gambling problem. That's why this game, <laughs> this game suits me. This is why I can never play. This is why I can never play a gotcha game. Yeah, I just quit gotcha games uh, for good because I I am quit quitting because I have an addictive personality. So I have actually cut out all gotcha games and I'm saying goodbye to them. So I, which is uh, a good thing, but it is hard. Like, do you not? The, obviously, it's hard. Easy to say this as you met all my guests. Mm -hmm. Um. It, the easiest way to avoid uh, gacha games and addiction like that is not to play. And obviously to not start, uh, because as someone who has, it's so... It preys on neurodivergent people especially, because we deal a lot with things like, you know, uh, ADHD and autism and other stuff, where we can, like, hyper-obsess and hyper-focus, but also... Um, like, one of the things that it preys on so much is FOMO, the idea of missing out. The idea of you're always, oh, what if I missed this skin? What if I missed this character, this move? I've already invested thousands of pounds or dollars or whatever you, your currency of your choice today is. I've already invested this much in the game. How am I meant to just, like, if I, if I stop now, then it'll be like that was all wasted. And it keeps you playing, right? So, that's it's like, that's... legitimate. That's how they get you. Yeah, that's how you get you, and it's legitimately... If you don't pay money for that game, um, obviously... I, I, this is suddenly turned into the self-help bit, so I try not to get too sad. But genuinely, if you get into that place, make sure you have people who care about you, who are telling you about these sorts of purchases. If you attempt to buy that sort of stuff, remember, they'll... Like, like you can always gacha games that sell you JPEGs. There is a dude on reddit compiling all those jpegs into a folder you can download always there's always that one dude who's got you has downloaded every single picture in the game and it's like here you go here's a folder download them for free and then you can download them and make your cool uh litter rosca fan fiction about genshin impact characters you can do that there's nothing wrong True, true, true. Wait, let me just let me just catch up with chat. This is why I don't care too much for Genshin. It's very predatory. No, the same, same. And I'm super fucking worried about that nut, that other game that's coming out, the zero, zero, zero. 
It has a sexy yeah. wolfman in it. And I'm like, ugh. Yeah, but but they, yeah, don't worry. They're, his pictures, they're on, they're online now. And here's the thing, it like once something once something's like uh, like that, you've um, you've got that sort of stuff online. Remember, those resources can be used for a lot of things. If you're the creative type and like you've played like um, or had a RPG maker or stuff, mm -hmm. one of the things I thought of doing is like taking the sprites or art from characters in gacha games that I've played and then just making an RPG maker like game or um, strategy game or whatever, something like that, and just put that art in there. And yeah, there may be someone who's like, oh, that's cringe, that's not the real thing, but also, who gives a shit, cringe is awful, and is dead, never let anyone tell you you're cringe. Actually, pe 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 people call me cringe, and I just, I just own it at this point. You know what I mean? Like, hey, you know what, I, I, may, I may be cringe, but guess what, people like me for my cringe. Yeah, and two, um, better to be cringe than, you know, like, try and be cool and then end up dealing with crippling addiction problems. True, true. Dealing with crippling, crippling addiction? I'll take being cringe and making my cool RPG maker games. I'll do that. That's fine. I'll 2023, when... cringe is dead. Oh yeah, well, let me just uh, catch up with chat. I'll play it when I'm severely depressed, but I refuse to spend money on it. I am cringe, but I am free. That is true. That is true, Bink. You know, like, what's it called? You do, you do like Devilman Crybaby. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I like that anime too. Oh wow, the chat, wow, the chat just, people just left the chat when I mentioned that. Wow, a lot of Devilman Cry fan. <laughs> Oh, Devil May Cry baby fans in this Devil, chat. Devil May, wait, do you say Devil May Cry baby? Devil Man Cry, Devil May, sorry, sorry. That's it. Yeah. Uh, Devil May Cry baby was a pretty good anime. Dude, Emily Virtual just turned up at the end to kill all of the. Uh, the Dude, the, mu the music, yeah. the music, the the animation. What's it? Called? It was so yeah. good. Yeah, it was. It was, it was a good. It was a good. Very depressing. Do not watch it if you have depression, or will struggle with it, because you'll get to the end and go, oh, oh wow, what, is, cool. what, where is hope? How is Double Man Cry Baby cringe? It's not cringe. I'm just giving, I'm just giving you crap because you like something. What's it called? Remember, See? remember, Big, you gave, remember, remember, Big, you gave me so much crap because I call myself an anthro enthusiast, not a furry. And now look at that, I have furry in my tags. Let's see. Yeah, we go. But I was gonna say, even I was gonna give you the side eye of okay. Okay, that's how this guy is. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's a long journey to eventually opening up about um, who you are and like, who you want to be. You know, that's not an easy thing to do, especially. Well, you know, like, accepting oneself is super hard. Like, um, you know, I'm schizophrenic and stuff, so I already have problems, and I deal with family members that tell me that your problems don't really exist; it's all in your head. But then, you know, I have friends um, that you know, I have friends that tell me. You know, your problems are problems, and it's, you know, good on you for actually getting help. Yeah, well, of course. Your problems are... Someone, someone I know once said to me, like, what if I'm making up all of my um, mental health problems? What if it's not real? And then, like, I responded by saying, if you still feel the effects, it doesn't matter if it's real or not. If you still feel these things or are overwhelmed by them, then that's just the same as if it was real. At that point, all you need to do is get the help you need and get the support that you desire. Your feelings are valid regardless of whether they are quote unquote imagined or real or not. Is they're still affecting you the same way? Uh, let's, put solutions. It, let's put it this yeah. way. My dad used to say, like, I you know, like, you know, what type of man needs help and stuff, right? And then uh, you know, for me to actually, you know, for me to actually get help that I was, you know, trying to get. Yeah. What's it called? He, you know, he just said, you know, I could have been the, like, he recently was diagnosed with depression, right? I could have been the jerk. I could have been a jerk. So, well, you know what? You told me all my mental stuff was in my head. Maybe this is in your head. Yeah, that point of, like, you've been scarred by someone's effects on your attitude yep. towards you. And your thing is, but I'm, do I'm, I just feel yeah, but, like you would want them to know, but, now, but yeah. you know. No, I decided to be the bigger person and just say, you know what, Dad? Hey, I, I went through this. I didn't have any help, but you know what? I'm here for you. That's because you're a good, you're a good fun. I don't know how, I don't know how to be mean, that's the thing. The thing is, being mean is a result at that point of, like, either a justified point where you realize that the other person is just trying to push you down a path of, like, manipulation or cruelty, and it's firmness. Mm -hmm. Like, people mix up. People think that when you're firm with someone, that's mean, and it's and it's not. Being firm with someone is just a, a valuable skill. 
that you need, especially when, like, growing up, you'll be dealing with people who can just take advantage of you or be cruel or be, like, awful to you and expect you to just take it because they see you as the common soft one. Being mm -hmm. firm is being able to say, it's not that I'm not kind, it's not that I don't care, it's not that I don't have empathy, it's I have had enough of this, of you, of your attitude towards me, and I am putting a line down. And the moment that someone goes, someone's put a line down, how dare you, I don't respect that. That's also the point where you kind of think, you never really cared about me, you never really cared about yeah. doing it. It was just about control for you. Well, uh, I, I, yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I'm Puerto Rican, so like, uh, control is like a big thing. Uh, like, you know, like in the parent and the parental dynamic. Control is a huge oh. thing. It's super weird. Oh, also, let me just catch up with this. How's Devil Man Cry Baby Cringe? Give me shit about liking something like Death Stranding. Oh, at least that's a pretty controversial take. Well, I like Death Stranding, also because I'm a Kojima shill, so I'm gonna like a lot of his stuff. Uh, Vink, I'm just, Vink, I'm just giving, I'm, Vink, I'm just giving you shit. I'm just giving you shit because you give me shit and, you know, we're friends. We're friends. We, we can shit on, we can shit on each other before, uh, what's yeah. it called? Feelings are hurt, right? Right? Here's the thing, <laughs> thing of, um, uh, uh, this is a helpful bit of advice like I had as well, and this, this isn't a criticism about YouTube, but it's actually a thing like I've learned recently which helped me if, if you don't mind me sharing some advice about like uh, uh, thoughtful thoughtfulness and friendship. Yeah. Um, but uh, one of the things that like I learned was um, I, I'm like very, uh, apart from my hilarious attitude and my gigantic tits, um, I am actually quite sensitive to a lot of, like, uh, we call it banter, I guess, but just, like, people yeah. shooting shit or, like, yeah. shooting on each other in friendship. And it's, like, uh, I have. I don't know if anyone has dealt with this, so you don't have to. I'm front of mourning for, like, bullying. I have trauma because of severe bullying growing up. Mm -hmm. uh, I was I was thought to be too soft or, like, too gentle. And was made fun of because, you know, I made friends with girls, not boys. Turns out, there was a reason for that. Um, and I was uh, treated very poorly because of uh, my perceived naivety and softness. So, obviously, when I was growing up, you know, the thing to try and counter that was to try and, you know, shoot the shit with people, give each other shit, you know, you know, bust your balls and all that sort of stuff. But, um... I, I got to a point not too long ago with a friend where I kind of did that, and I just went, I don't want to do this anymore. Because, at least for me, and not saying anyone else is this or that's bad, for me, I kind of got to a point where I'm like, I just like genuinely telling people, hey, I love that stuff that you're doing. I love the thing that you're doing. I want to talk about this passionately and openly without making you feel embarrassed for the stuff you like and just like cheering you on for the stuff that you enjoy like doing and partaking in and talking to me about because you know we kind of talk i'm i'm a trans woman but obviously like at one point i thought i was a boy mm -hmm. and there's a lot of this with toxic masculinity which kind of impresses the idea that the way men have to express their feelings are either in like be shooting shit at each other or like shitting on each other as friendship where your only thing is shooting each other down or not talking or being like your dad and being like a dick about it is it's like you have feelings ew what's that ew, gross and how like silly that shit is because you know, that's not necessary it's, it's not it's not necessary it's not time it's not good I mean, well, I like to believe that, you know, people, you know, people, people can hurt, but also people can learn from these things, you know what I mean? That's good when they do. It's very, it's really the best feeling in the world, genuinely, when someone acts against the character you have in the head, and they genuinely make an effort, you know. No, that was, that's not who I want to be, that's not on me, I'm sorry. Yeah. That's a genuinely great thing, but I wish I... I wish I'd seen more. I think kind of my cynicism as a human sometimes comes from not experiencing that enough. Mm -hmm. It is great when it's very good. It's the best feeling. Someone's like, "Hey, I'm genuinely sorry." And you're like, "Damn, yeah, that's really cool." Uh, but yeah, I hope I hope all of you in the chat have not had to experience that. Though unfortunately, I feel a lot of people may have, and I hope that if you're going for a rough time where people treat you roughly, you're valid, you're great, things you like are worth liking, and you know that you are a valid human being, you're worthy of existing. Uh, oh yeah. 
Oh, like I'm still, I'm still learning. I'm still learning to accept the fact that I deserve to be happy and stuff. But that's a conversation for another day. Let me just catch up with chat. All right, Death Stranding is a masterpiece. No hard feelings, obviously. Death Stranding has a lot of story problems, but I still, I still, I uh, split loved it. Still loved it. What's it called? I'm still in the middle of playing Death Stranding, honestly. That's more of a. I'm oh. not. I'm. I'm not streaming that game. I'm kind of playing that for myself. That's what I've been yeah, learning too, as a as a streamer. It's like uh, I can say that now. I'm a streamer because I tend to play a lot. I play way. You should, I show you. I just show you my Switch collection alone. You know I have a. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got you got the Changus. That's the Changus collection right there. A little bit. That's a. That's what. That's what happened. That's what happens when you. Uh, what's it called? You sign up for so many freaking memberships and then you just use up all those points to get discounts on games. I guess. I, real quick, I taught, showed that to my partner and I literally went. I did not know there were that many physical Switch games. Well, actually, I was aware. well, I actually go out of my I go out of my way to purchase some um, purchase physical games. Like, like I hate I hate digital games. Like, you know what I mean? Like, um, okay. like I prefer physical media because you know these companies could just take away these games from us. Because like you know, yeah. Scott, never forget Scott Pilgrim. Never, never forget, forget the Super Mario All Stars collection. Never oh my forget. God! Yes. Oh, that was the that was the one. Oh, the e the entirety of the e shops. Yeah. And never ever forget the digital only re release of translated Fire Emblem 1 for NES, which did happen and then was taken away. It's the one time you could officially play the original Fire Emblem in English. And then it was uh, it was gone. To be fair, that was, was like just a... that, that was Nintendo doing an artificial thing just to like, you know, push the numbers on it, you yeah. know what I mean? And this default. Yep. Disney Vault. I hate that. I hate that so much. Well, let me just catch up with chat. I guess, I don't know, after two playthroughs, the plot made more sense to me. It's definitely worth that, the play. Uh, the story is far from complicated, but there are some writing choices that did make me kind of groan, and Kojima is notorious writing, writing women in, in yes. not the best way. Ending still made me cry, yeah. though. Ah, okay, that, that I do understand. I have to really learn how to change my voice when I'm speaking for other people. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's okay. Like, hey, you gotta invent your whole like character voice for another human being. Like, that's that's a tough skill. That takes time. And also, um, well, actually, um, just, just, what's, what's it called? I yeah. actually I actually want to be a voice actor and stuff, but like, um, freaking, I I kind of I kind of what's the word? I get very I get very nervous. Like, E gave me like a like sent me a link to like a she she thought I would do a really good role, and I kind of I kind of got I kind of got panicky and I didn't do it. I, I, okay. I don't know. It's like, uh, like I have this thing where I think I'm not good enough for something, so I always kind of like I, I downplay myself. But then, when I lost my job and stuff, and I said, let, let me just focus on streaming for a little bit, Let's see what I can do with that, right? Freaking! I did not expect to make affiliate. I did not expect to make affiliate in a year, in under a year. Holy crap! I can get paid to stream now, even though, even though I'm not doing this for money. This is just a hobby. I gotta keep telling myself that. But you know. It's like I'm gonna approach this as just a hobby because I am disabled and at home a lot. And like genuinely, when I debut, I intend to do it as a thing of enjoying exploring myself and Amy as opposed to like to work or make a career out of it. I just want people to know I'm about to be a proud kind of, as you may have guessed from um, the character design, to be a prominent trans streamer and to be proud of that and also. Uh, you know, like, we all have different reasons and different levels of the way we want to pursue stuff, and mine is very much just a, I want to do it. I wrote a book this year, because I wanted to do it, and then I did it, and that was a really big deal for me. I was like, I wrote a book. I finished that, and that was awesome. Was oh, really wait, big you, wrote a, you, wrote, you wrote a book? Yeah, I wrote a book. It's called, it was written for National Novel Writing Month, and it was called, um, The Forest is the Daughter of the Ocean. Ooh. And it was really cool, and uh, it made me feel really cool and really happy. Oh, yeah. uh, hey, hey, you know what, people in the chat, what's the biggest achievement that you've had this year? It can be anything from I finished that game that was really hard to, you know, I did a thing I never did before, even if it's just something as small as like, I tried food that I was nervous to try before, and I enjoyed it, and it was great. What's your coolest thing you did this year? What's your coolest thing you did this year, Sober? What's your coolest thing? Well, let me just uh, catch up with chat first. Uh, apparently, I'm very I'm a very charism I have a very charismatic personality. Do am I charismatic? Let's go. And D and D yeah. starting. All right, all right. Being good luck. Good luck with that. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you don't. Uh, hopefully, Pickle P doesn't die this this run. 
pickle pea. That's pickle a that's Nixons? their uh, uh, that's their character from a, or is that their character one of their familiars in D and D? What's it called? It's I I, I have I, I have so many friends that talk about D and D. It's hard to keep up with. But yes, you know you, uh, you you have a good luck with, you have a good luck with that. Get a get some critical rolls, homie. Hey, get those twenties. Don't get those ones unless it's funny. Get the funny ones. Oh crap! I was not paying attention to my health bar. Oh well, I think a, I think a violence has happened to you. Damn, one whole violence. I'm not that dead. I'm not that dead yet. I have a restart. <laughs> Try again, yes. Go. I, just for I just forgot to heal. You know, it's that thing of streaming while discussing mental health, while discussing personal achievement, while playing a uh, RPG that you may not have played in a while. Uh, like, you know, death might happen. Accidents may happen. Oh, wasted, wasted my cure. Okay, but, um, I think my personal, uh, I think my personal achievement was, a. Uh... Let me see, I'm trying to think, what is what is the biggest I guess finding my new job and you know learning that, you know, I do deserve I do deserve something that pays better and you know I shouldn't settle for mediocrity. Does that make sense? Yeah. No, 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 that's absolutely 110% solid. Like you don't deserve mediocrity and you're really kind, but I mean like I think you the only the uh, thing that I'm most excited for is to you know tell you Again, like you're very kind and charismatic. Those who don't know, as a gift, I got um, Cyber here World of Horror, which if anyone's played that before, is the coolest fucking adventure horror game released in the last few years that I really wish we could be finished. But it, but it's very cool. It's a Junji Ito inspired horror game, and uh, if you've played it, you know how cool that game is. I wish I had an official soundtrack. But in return. My mischievous friend here got me Akiba Strip, which is going to be a game that I will play and go, boy, that's sure some strip in the Akiba that's happening right there. Whoever's getting me Golly. to strip people in Japan. <laughs> yes, that game is about vampires that are weak to being naked, so you must nakedify them to defeat them. Also. If you beat the game, I think, because you have to play as some dude in Heim or whatever. It's called Akiba Strip because it takes place in Akihabara on the famous Akiba Strip, which is like the big nerd place in Akihabara where you can see like the Gundams and shops that sell the video games and like all stuff. In the game is actual adverts, but that would have just been at the time for like Hatsune Miku or whatever. Uh, like there are just actual places there. Oh, did and, like the actual Gundam store and stuff like that, where you can get the model kits. Oh my god, it's Yuffie! Um, oh, Yuffie. Yuffie's here. Now, here's the thing I've always had a problem with this scene. Like, her nation is getting, like, devastated by Shinra today. And she does, like, this light-hearted funny joke bit with Zack. It's like, this is, like, meant to be the end of Wutai. As, like, a, like, Ninja biggest clan? counter. Wait, were they you know? I, I don't really know. I don't really know Final Fantasy VII's lore other than... Uh, Cloud does Cloud things, and I'm not, I'm not gonna say spoilers because I do know spoilers for it because I've seen uh, yeah. I, I've seen like retrospective videos and stuff about Final Fantasy. Wutai is like an entirely optional area, I think, in um in FF7. Like it's entirely optional, and uh, Yuffie obviously people forget because you know it's the Final Fantasy Seven characters. Yuffie and Vincent Valentine are also entirely optional characters that you do not have to get at all to finish the game even though obviously thanks to now, advent children uh dirge of cerberus kingdom hearts original games, yes. yeah kingdom hearts people know yuffie and vincent quite well vincent obviously wasn't in kingdom hearts but his gl cool cl glove claw thing and his cape were used by cloud in his cool kingdom hearts one book it was really cool what's it called you, um, you know i i what's it called when i met steve bloom i actually grabbed an autograph for Bing, uh for sir bink because they love oh. they love they love Dirge of Cerberus and they had the the autograph uh, they wanted was uh what's his name the vampire what's his name in what in Final Fantasy Seven yeah what's that vampire guy name Vincent Vincent Valentine is the vampire yes yes I got um I got the um I got his autograph for uh, my friend yeah no that's cool it's a I didn't realize it was Steve Bloom recently I heard Steve Bloom as like 
Neon White in the game Neon White. Oh my games. god, I, I love that game so much. Like, I'm so glad it got recognition during the Game Awards. I hate the Game Awards, but like, what's it called? It, it got like a knowledge. The like... Pub. What happened? Yeah, the Dorito Pub ceremony. We're all there. Yeah. That's, that's, it's not good in like, like, like legit. We all are happy when the Game Awards gets it right, acknowledging a game. But we all know the Game Awards are full of shit, as are AAA games. Yeah, no, it's, it, yeah, no, it's super rigged because it's just to, it's just to convince people to buy, just to buy games. It's just an advert ceremony, as we all know. I watched a, I have a video and maybe of some people I know who are gonna watch it, and I checked the timestamps and looked at how many freaking adverts there are for like new stuff in that. I was like, dude, like this is, just just go to E3 or something. Just do this at E3. I get that. Like, Smash created an unhealthy standard of, we need reveals, we must get the reveals going, but, like, it's, like, a lot. Because I saw, like, people I know who quite like Armored Core, see Armored Core pop up and go, oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, like, Armored Core is not the thing where, outside of one dude, you're doing this for. Most people are going to go, cool, Armored Core, that's neat. I, it's like some, it's a bit exhausting when you put that many reveals in the ceremony. I mean, what's it called? I really like uh, I, I like I love I love mecha I love mechs and stuff. So I was super hyped when I saw Armored Core. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Armored and also, Core's supposedly cool. it may or may not be a. Uh... Oh my god! Yeah. When you get the when you get the combos off, it's so satisfying. Oh yeah, my god! I, I I feel like I feel like I feel like I'm back on the, I feel like I'm back on the school bus playing this. Isn't the combat slightly different as well from um well, I'm playing, from PSP? I'm, I'm playing it in the original style. Oh, that's you can choose. That's cool. Yep. Yeah, yeah, because in the other style, like um, FF Seven Remake style. I believe so. Some are saying that um, some are, some are saying that um, what's it called? Here we go. What's it called? Christ. The the reunion or like reunion like like I've never played the remake so apparently the remake is changing things, and yeah, the reunion's supposed to like tie into that. But I I want to see I want to see maybe this may actually force me to play Final Fantasy, play Final Fantasy Seven or the remake. Uh, I, I feel that's fair. I've been playing Final Fantasy Seven, the classic one, but the re-release on the remaster of the re of the original. Mm-hmm. On oh, no. um. On PlayStation 4, that one has uh, buttons that allow you to turn on fast forward, which is absolutely. I'm gonna look into the camera, point to the stands, point at the WrestleMania sign right now, and say, "All classic JRPGs released on a modern console should include a fast forward." Button. Okay, they should just have that button just right there because no one. No one of it, yeah. I am just looking you all big dead serious right now. Put a fast forward button in classic JRPGs. Yeah, we don't have time, okay? Yeah. We do not have the time. It's not. I can't do that. We're not kids. We're not. We're not kids anymore. We need to. We need. To, we need to get through. We need to get through the day. You got job. You got people who rely on you. You got stuff. I'm disabled at home, and I'm gonna be real with you. I don't have time. I don't have time to sit. For like 40 plus hours grinding and then not like forget to eat go outside or have like a water okay because like that's the problem grinding is like very easy when you hyper focus to just get lost in mm -hmm. it's also a thing of, like it's just a time sink and obviously when you're doing stuff like i do because i want to get the platinum more for ff7 because it's my final fantasy that's the character i'm the gayest for it's what got me you kind of into final voice. fantasy C. Like, I want the Platinum, but when the Platinum involves, get to level 99, have 99,999 gil, I'm like, okay, hold up, hit that fast forward, never stop. You can just leave fast forward on, I mean, that's, that's the only way it's tolerable. I mean, that's yeah. why I really like Bravely Default, because, like, the fast forwards, the fast, yeah, fast forward into the combat is so good. Oh, and let me also just catch up, let me just catch up with Trevor fast. So, Binks, uh, Binks left, uh, they dabbed out. Uh, and, uh, Carlos got, Carlos says he got bored at the Final Fantasy VII remake and puts a neutral face. And, hey, Eryx! Hey, hey, Cyber and everyone. 
I hope your stream is going well and having a good time. It's going good. It's going good. I have my PNG tuber sister with me. This is the first time ever I've ever had her on my stream, and I'm super excited. Howdy. Thank you. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. I'm Amy Adams. I'm a trans cutie who, I guess, if I actually have to think about my VTuber lore. Hold on. I can, I can do this on the fly. I'm a cool trans oh i i didn't write a story for this character because we're cool and we're allowed to do that and it's not great um i wrote a character because the design some of you may have seen the art on twitter this character design changed a bit and this is kind of the first picture they had i gave them i asked for it a, like a guilty gear style design for this character because guilty gear is really cool if anyone has ever played that game and they if you have you know that game it's cool um, I was like, more belts and zips, which sounds Kingdom Hearts, but it's also Guilty Gear, trust me. Yeah. And then they gave me a fencing drill sword, where I used to fence in, in the, rea the real, which was fun. But also, um, drills are cool, so they made a fencing sword made out of drill bits. Ooh. Like, which is the coolest thing ever. That's so cool. And so I came up with the idea the character is a trans, get it, because I am trans, mm -hmm. trans-dimensional warrior who can hop between dimensions by, cut, like, passing through with a cool uh, drill sword and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, I was really excited and happy about that. Because remember, if you ever think, oh, I have to be cool, I have to be cool about stuff, I have to not be cringe, shut up. Make your cool, like, self-insert OC who's, like, called Dark Flame Overlord with your cool, like, flame jet pack and your, like, two heterochromatic eyes and make that your V2. Just do that. Yeah. Just... Take, a, take, a, take, a, take, a, take a stuff from your personality and create a character from it. That's it. Yeah, just do it. Just have fun. Like, and there, then... like there's, like, a lots of mean there's, like, lots of meaning for my character's design. Well, for one, I obviously love wolves. That's a... This mm -hmm. is more... That's just more of a thing. The mechanical hand is because I used to be left-handed, but then I had a stroke and lost the ability to write and draw with it. And also the, mecha oh. and the mechanical mouth is because when I also had that same stroke, I lost the ability to speak for a while. But then, you know, I trained myself to write, uh, write with my right hand and speak again. Unfortunately, that's, I can't roll my R's. That's okay. Um, I didn't know that. That's a, that's a really cool way of working and like stuff that happened and then using it to actually create like significance to your character design. And also like, well, it may seem obvious. I'm glad that you recovered from your stroke and you're here doing stuff. That's awesome. But it, like you know, not to make it a big, it's not a big deal. Like it was a mild stroke, so it was only like minor damage to my minor damage to me. Right? No, no, no. Like hey, no. You know what? We were saying like make your cringe character and stuff. Um, no, it's, 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 something that happened and it hurt and you made it through and like, that's awesome. You're, uh, you're alive and kicking, doing stuff. And also it led to this cool design. I mean, like, I'm going to be honest when I made my character design with Asia's help. Remember anyone watching this who doesn't know if you like our art, it's done by at Asia on Twitter. They're really cool. E H. J U R. They're a cool dog lady. Who also VTubes and they do a cool lot. They're also in my. Uh, they're in my about. They're in my about section as um. Uh mm -hmm. th yeah th yeah like they're linked to my Twitter's in my about section if you want to if you want to check out their art. Check it out. They do VTuber, P PNG VTuber designs and also they just do pretty art and also, also also, uh just something I forget to say. You should sub to their Patreon, because I think at the highest tier, you get bi-monthly annual sketches. Like, proper cool, colorful sketches, which are really cool. Yeah, I saw, I, I, saw, I, saw the, I saw the one that she did for you. It looked really nice. Uh, do you, oh, do you see the one just this month? Yeah, the, uh, the, one, yeah. The, the one she posted on Twitter. The one you're playing, uh, uh, you're playing a game with someone? So, that's um, my partner, Alex. The person who is hanging about now in the background playing games. Oh. Um... It was very lovely. Uh, being polyamorous is great. Very good. Point that out. Try it. Very fun chat. Try polyamory. I'm gonna. That's my. That's my. That should just be my like banner on my ch Twitch channel when I make one. Try polyamory. It's good. Um, what I was saying was. Um, Easier, I just, Easier's good art. Uh, oh no, that, no, that's your partner. Easier's, Easier's good art, but also when this character design was made, I just said, because you know. People are kind of shit. I just meant said, make it visibly trans, and so we came up with all the designs of Amy. 
the dress is just the trans black or the trans colors of the flag because you find that when you make it like you obviously like when you make your character designs or OCs you tend to go like wild and obviously go fantasy and stuff but you always like the designs you attach yourself the most to are the ones that have significance to who you are and like your history and your sense of self like, the ones you always i guess come back to and feel the most the ones that go that, that's still me even if it's like a cool big titty trans dimensional like warrior lady that's still me through it and um, that's kind of what like oh that's I so like cool about... sorry yeah. sorry if, if it looks so cool if it does look cool. if it does look very cool um yeah it's it's one of those uh Thing, you'll always find the designs that mean the most to you are the ones that have the most meaning to you. So if you're out there, if you're out there and you're like, I'm gonna, uh, I feel like like I could do this, but you know I'm too nervous or scared. Like, go for it. Nothing stopping you from just going on, like finding an artist. Maybe take some of that money you were gonna put aside to spend on just something that you're like, yeah, it was kind of okay. I kind of put this. Get yourself some cool art. Some artists and like see a design you like come to life and be like, oh shit, I could do, I could be through the DM too. I could, I could talk shit about Hideo Kojima in stream and people will sit and be like, that's fun and they're having fun. You can do that. I promise you. Oh, do grab potions. Drink potions. Sorry, sorry, I'm, pan I'm just panicking. It's okay. Uh, the fight, big chunk. Be happy, find yourself. That's the message, right? Yep. That, yes, that is my very, my very strained friend. Yes, it is. Be happy and find yourself, and also remember, uh, nothing is cringe. Uh, nothing. What's the Assassin's Creed line? Nothing is cringe. Everything is permitted. Just, just go be, just go be you. Just go be you. And the internet will, there will always be someone out there who thinks you're really cool just because you're being yourself. Well, that's the thing, too, yeah. That's the if, you're, if you're yourself and people like you for yourself, those are the people you want in your life. Yeah, I am amazing. And some people will be like, how dare you think that? But there will be lots of, and there'll be lots of other people who will go, that lady is really cool and, and hot. And, and smart and very funny and kind. Lots of things. So In that order. Yeah. <laughs> oh. yeah that's, that's the thing. Just find the find your crowd. They're out there. Well, oh, man. My friend was supposed to start streaming today. I was, I was, supposed, like, I'm, I'm, I was hoping to like, build up an audience for him. So I can, you know, raid into him. You could, I mean, like, hey, if there's one, even if there's one person here, that person will go see him. Remember, it's, that's true. It's sometimes, uh, hey, lots of people are streaming. Also, uh, clearly everyone's upset that uh, Zach isn't voiced by the same person that was voice Zach in the original. So clearly they've taken the very person, which well, is bad. Well, it, as I, mean, I the, said. I mean, there's also the Japanese dub. I, I legitimately wonder if it's a uh, thing or not true though again like this dub is saved if it's still because some people may forget the voice of the animated series superman was the voice of sephiroth for the longest time. that's the dude in advent children who says all the fucking amazing lines like you know hello cloud uh, I... shall i give you despair oh you know what we should do we should we should we should re we should watch uh, advent children and ease disco one of these days we should. That would be awesome because I will just sit there and quote, quote stuff like when Rufus jumps out, like throws the box out the window and goes, "The good son would have known," and then, then Kadaj just jumps out to catch the box as well. Oh, oh look that at that! That's Nathan such a nice, so that, 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 that's okay. such a nice shot right there. Ooh, had a screenshot that. That's a good screenshot. Oh, look who it is! Speak. Speak, my guy. I'm just speaking text boxes. Speak, Sephiroth. Well, so far this game has been fully voiced, uh, voice acted. Even NPCs were talking. That's crazy. Let's listen. 
Genesis. The missing soldier first class? They're identical. A Genesis copy. Copy? A human copy? Where's Angeal? I thought he was fighting around here. Is it still the same guy? Is it still classic Sephiroth? So I can't hear. I can't tell. Wait, I, I never noticed I never noticed the voice acting in this game, honestly. I just remember the gameplay. Oh, uh, no that's fine. Honestly. I'm not hearing like, Clark Kent, though. And he never do You're hearing Clark Kent? I'm not hearing it. Like, I don't... Uh, maybe he... Does he... Does he... Do the, does he do the Clark Kent voice for this or no? He does. Um, it's kind of like very like slow, like very low tone to it. It's very uh, uh, you know, hello, Cloud. Like very speaking ASMR before ASMR became super popular kind of thing, you know. Yeah. Um, but as for like, yeah, I'd have to listen to it directly. It's the thing of like, it's I. Th ironically like it's kind of classic in its own way you know it's not like it's the oldest game but it's very much like a yeah crisis call coming out again is awesome but it obviously means that people are going to be very particular about like okay but you have to get it right right because like it's it's crisis cool it's the it's one of the reasons you have to have a psp because you know it was competing against the ds and obviously they needed some pretty great games for people to want to get into that, and Crisis Call was one of the ones that you were like, "Oh shit, I gotta get a PSP. I gotta play. I gotta play Crisis." I still have my PSP actually, and what's it called? I don't have. I I, I lost my Crisis Core back in the uh, my broke bitch days as as a teen and selling games just to get games. Yeah, I get that. The regret years we all have will be sell stuff. We always, no, I don't want to sell that. I want to keep that. That's that's not. But we all, we all have moments like that. I am um, Crisis Core, Birth by Sleep, Dissidia, and Duo Deckham. Final Fantasy Tactics War Alliance. I know that this is all Square stuff, but Square was kind of the big reason that you had a PSP because most of the Square games on PSP were fucking sick. Well, um, what's it called um, Sony? Uh, Sony. Uh, if you had if you had any Sony console, you had at least one Square software. One Square game. Yeah. Squaresoft was their old company when they were when they were with Nintendo. Oh my God! How the hell yeah. do I know that? Yeah, because Squaresoft, the merge between Squaresoft and Enix is quite like a fun story. People forget that the reason Square Enix still exists is that Squaresoft nearly went bankrupt after making Final Fantasy: The Spirits Within, and that film tanked so hard. The Enix almost didn't merge, and we're like, uh, you kind of look really sucky right now, and I'm not sure we want to do that. But then again, Enix were always financially solvent, because Enix are the people who make Dragon Quest, specifically. So, they've been making that stuff pretty stable for years and years on that. So, you know, that's how it be. Um, yeah. Uh, also, Final Fantasy... Yeah, so if you had a PSP and you were playing Square Enix games, you were living pretty good. Like, you had the best version of Final Fantasy Tactics, you had Crisis Core, you had the two good Final Fantasy fighting games, you had um, the new the Kingdom Hearts with the characters that are not Sora, that are kind of cooler than Sora. Um, and... Uh, other than that, other than Square Enix games, it was like there was some there was some stuff. I saw like huge PSP collection, and obviously, twenty one in the know. And anyone who loved that, uh, did you know how easy your 3DS can be hacked? Meme, thanks. Uh, Hello. Uh, oh hey. Hey, uh, Masahiro Sakurai. Um, the uh, PSP we'll is the easiest uh, to hack console right out of all. Gotcha. Oh yeah, no, no, I was able to play Nintendo sixty four games online. Yeah, like it's so, so easy to just like mess around on that thing. I think it's easier in my head than using an old But uh, it's it's just like it's so easy to do it on there. Like it's such a good way for for you to like uh, get new games and like play stuff. And I still have mine like ready and waiting. It's also people may forget this: the only way to play Valkyria Chronicles two and three. Because I, there are some people. I, I gave away my copy of Valkyria, Chron of Valkyria Chronicles to my friend when I mailed out a package to him because he never had a PSP. So I, I put, 
No, not to say I put one together. I bought a broken PSP and I repaired it. Oh hell yeah! And then You're I good man. I mailed it out to him, but then it broke on it. It broke coming from going from America to the UK. Damn. Yep. Damn. Yep. That's rough. I know. Why? I spent so much money fixing it. It would have been cheaper just to buy a new PSP. It actually, uh, the sad part is, I don't want to agree, but yeah, they are like ludicrously cheap, especially Gen One ones because not only are they easy to hack. Uh, Brainwise obviously owned the PSP. You know this, but PSP Gen Ones <laughs> continuously you lose charge when they are on. They do not store it. You have to keep them plugged in, otherwise they will just die. That's it. They don't have a battery that just sticks and lasts. They just die, which is wild. You just didn't program like an actual like proper like off or turn off button. You just went. Well, people have plugs, right? There's Diablo Immortal people <laughs> voices in my head. You, you all have like plugs, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's fucked up. That, that's how that's you know. It's also crazy to me that the, the freaking NPCs have voice has voice lines. Yeah, because now it's like... You're like... They would have done... They will pay... They actually paid the voice actors to have more than one or two voice lines for some cutscenes? Damn. That's a lot of... That's, I mean, well, to be fair though, what's it called? It, again, it's Square. Square had Square had money, so... Apparently they also have... Well, Apparently they have money to, re to recast people, too. Do you need to catch up on the chat? I, um, I... No, no, I don't see anybody. Uh, I don't see any new message. Let me just check real fast. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah uh, okay, yeah. Eric says, uh, Ooh, fun. Always uh, nice to meet everyone, you know? And yeah, Carlos is saying yes. I don't know what he's saying yes about. Possibly something we said earlier? I mean, I am very agreeable. So this is fair. Um, <laughs> but thank you. Thank you, Carlos. But also, um, honestly... Man, this Pokemon Violet is very fun to watch. See, I'm watching it, for those who don't know, I'm watching this stream with uh, my dear friend, of course, Cyber. If you have not already followed Cyber, they're very cool, very neat. They do cool streams. Uh, they're a cool wolf. But also, I am watching uh, my partner Alex play um, Pokemon Violet. Uh, Pokemon Violet, as I said before, is the funnest, most broken Pokemon experience I've had in a while. Uh, because, here, let me teach you a little secret, it's time for Amy's secrets, okay, here's a little secret for you. If you start the game of Pokemon Violet, and this probably works in Scarlet, you may have gathered that there's a mechanic where if you can lock onto a Pokemon, you can throw a ball on it, and a battle happens. Yeah, right, nice, just easy, easy thing. You can walk up to a ledge in the starting area, before you progress to the school and begin the game, Throw a ball at a Pokemon across a cliff and be teleported across the cliff because the poke you need to be on solid ground to have the battle, which lets you play through and visit the entire world map before ever going into the school. Really? Yes, I have caught 160 plus Pokemon and have a level 50 fully evolved starter Pokemon before meeting Team Star. Or even getting the Tetra Orb to Testrealize my Pokemon. Oh. So yeah, it's fun. This game is broken in the best way, in that you can do literally anything you want in it. And you oh. know what? When a game when a game's broken, it can always make up for that by just giving you the freedom to do whatever the fuck you want. I mean that's I I mean there's a charm to buggy games, like I love Sonic 06 because of how much I can break it. And yeah, that's the thing. Also, yeah, also, Carlos was saying yes to the positivity conversation. Yes! Oh, positivity is good. I appreciate it. I appreciate shared positivity. I think, also, um, I think this is going to be the, the last... I think this is going to be the last mission, then I'm going to I'm gonna raid into somebody. Because uh, my friend said he was going to start at 8, but I guess, uh, you know, I'm going to... I'm going to send people over to, uh... Helix, he's actually a... He's actually a PNG tuber artist. Um, awesome. Who's uh, no relation to um, the Helix who speed run the monkey dude, right? No, no, uh, Helix Ring. He is a squid. Uh, squid. He's a snail boy. Uh, hold on, actually, oh, let me, let me yeah. show. You. This is uh, this is the model he's done for me. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yep, and he that's also uh, he also does live two D models. Also, your model is giving the sex eyes. 
and not specific PNG. That's Wait, the what eyes? The sex eyes, you know, for the sex. I thought it, I thought you know. I was going for I was going more for like like you know chill like you know like chill like chill vibes. You know that chill yeah. vibes chill, the vibe. <laughs> yeah chill sex you know you know the kind yeah you know, just sex, just, just casual sex right yeah you know, <laughs> the, the, the fridge freezer sex you know the casual very cool chill from the fridge chill sex. Well, so I just well, love, please don't, I love, please don't demonetize my friend Twitch for me saying the word sex. Oh no, no, I, I don't think I, I don't think that's how that works with Twitch. It's YouTube's end that of a monetization, but I'm not monetized on YouTube. And if I was, we're an hour we're an hour into the video, so they they ignore everything at this point. Oh hell yeah, take that! Be not cease and desist. I don't have anything about anything. I am, I am the I knew. I know stuff, but I am a very big uh, bimbo lady, and also, uh, yeah, that's a good idea, because um, I hope, I hope you've been enjoying me being good. This oh, is no, very no, new no, to no. me, but I no. hope I've been an enjoyable uh, Go host? present. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, definitely. Hopefully, and I hope, I hope to have you back at some point. Of course, if you if you wanna have me back and you're doing something oh, fun, you're always free to drop me a message, and I will see if I. I've never I've been able to come to. Uh, Mom, come to my friend's uh, streams before. Well, to, be, to be fair though, I stream at a very late time, so you know, I'm not gonna hold. Really? That, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna hold that against you. But also, I appreciate that. Um, I have been. Uh, I guess it's a good way to cap like the introduce myself. Uh, me and my me and Alex have kind of been like homeless for like uh, ten plus months. We've been had places to stay, but they've been kind of like. Airbnbs, and as we all know, if you've ever stared in an Airbnb for a long period of time, they're evil and should be stopped. But also, um, it's like we've only just gotten a house. We have a house that we live in now. We have a place to stay, which is good considering you know the holidays. And you should, you should, everyone should have a place to stay. Uh, it's, I mean, homelessness is awful, and no one should be homeless. Yeah, no, I, I, I was homeless before. That that fucking sucks. Oh, hell yeah. Hey, bud, that shit sucks. Well, it's fucking awful, and I hate this. And, um, but now we have a home. We have a place to stay. So, the kind of thing is, like, almost like for all my friends' streams and stuff, I haven't really been present because I have been not really here in my own head. I've been really, like, stuck in a place which is just real bad. And also, I now. Now that I have the ability to, I've paid for like ultra fast broadband internet. So I'm using wireless internet that's like highest caliber I could almost get. Like, there's probably one higher than that. Because I wanted to have, like, if you have to stream and become a VTuber, kind of want the good internet connection. So I've been trying to get that. And it seems stable. I I've been here to talk about cool stuff and no groups and good quality. So. No, ro you, no roboting on your end? No roboting, which is great. No roboting, no grandstanding, no hot dogging, just cl good, clean, good, clean fun. And now that I have that, I'm like, um, I'm really happy to be, I'm, I'm really happy to be here, I'm really happy to do this, and uh, getting myself ready for actually VTuber. I can't wait to show off my PNG model. Um, last time I ever did, obviously, I was attacked by a thousand TERFs on Twitter because they were frightened of tits. But, <laughs> which is, which is still, while it was rough at the time, the more I'm, like, able to recover, I'm like, that is the funniest thing to think, one thousand people frightened of breasts attack women because they are scared of titty. Like, it, it gives me... They're, they're scared of what oh. they can't, they're scared of what they can't have. That's all I saw. They it. are. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Damn, jealous little bitches. Anyway, I really hope that, like, it's really nice to be able to introduce myself, so this is nice to meet you all here. I hope my bro here is a good, good man, he's a good friend, um, and I hope to see all of the people here more, as well as, hopefully, when I figured it out, have Cyber on one of my streams, because I, I need to... Next thing I need to do, right, like something I hadn't considered, is I need to find someone to help me make a layout. Because I do not have, and I just have my model and video game. And obviously, Twitch layout or streaming layouts can be really pretty and cute. Like, Asia's one is really lovely and really pretty, but I don't know who to go to to I, make a good layout. 
Well, I mean, I commissioned my friend to do this layout for me, and uh, what's good? They kind of stopped taking commissions because they kind of got overwhelmed with a lot of work, and they yeah. got a, they got a big girl job, so you know they don't need, they don't need they don't need my money anymore. <laughs> yeah, they, they they got they got to get the the uh, nine get, to five big bucks, but I'm glad they made this for you. It's oh, yeah. cool looking. Oh yeah, no, what's it called? This is also kind of what helped, because I used to be a Sonic styled. My my VTuber character was very Sonic styled in in Origin, but then I said, you know what, I'm I'm like uh, this and this age. Let me change it up. You know what I mean? I want I want I'm like you know. Also, the Sonic community was just like super cursed. And I was like, these people are these people are kind of kind of going against things I like. So let me just get away from them. You weren't Christian enough for the Sonic community. You weren't praising the Lord Jesus enough for the <laughs> Sonic community. Oh, thank you, Carlos, for the hydrate. <laughs> Yeah, no, like, I love Sonic and all that, it's just that the community just kind of was super gatekeepy, super, like, like a lot, I can't use the G word because, oh, thank you for the hydrated stretch, Carlos. I'm not doing both at the same time, though. Um, oh, god, my uh, back is straightening up. I needed that. It's Ooh. good to get a stretch in. My fitness goals, I haven't thought about that. Might be a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Water is definitely a, water should definitely be a, uh, uh, redeem reward for me, honestly, because I'm a. I have a. This is the fanciest I'll say. When we first moved into a house, we got a fridge, and you have no idea how, like, dispossessed of luxury or even just basic uh, <laughs> care you have when you have cold a cold fridge dispenser, but you have a thing where you can dispense water that's just stored in the fridge, and you drink it, and you're like, Oh my god, cold water! Why was I never told about this? You look at it and you go, this should just be a thing you know, but you look at actual chilled water and go, this is nectar, for, this is ambrosia, this is... What is this? Why have I never been told about this? And you realize, <laughs> you just never bought a good fridge. You've never had a good fridge, you've just had containers for food and that's about it you've never actually thought well what if my fridge was good for me? well my fridge old. was on my side his parents are but food was members. good i need that i need good food i need good food I, I, i've learned i've learned i've learned how to be i've learned how to be a good cook over the years granted i had a crush yeah. on my home economics teacher so that's why i kind of uh, that's why i paid attention yeah, yeah. Uh, I, wonder what, I wonder what she's up to she's probably married <laughs> That's a wild guess. What? What if she's? What if she's still waiting for the right person, and or, or is just really into cooking? You know, maybe maybe cooking is her life. You know, and that's not a bad thing at all. Hey, you know what's better than men? Food. Oh, true, true. Also, I, I also I love baking too. Baking is possibly better than men and basic cooking because, like, baking leads to all the actual good shit. Donuts. I'm just saying it's donuts. There's lots of other stuff, but donuts are possibly the best thing we've ever invented as a species. So, yeah, we kind of peaked out of that. I'm sorry, that's that's not the rules. I'm just telling you right now. That's how humanity peaked at donuts. <laughs> we peaked at donuts. Name me something better than donuts and actually convince me. I can't say because we're on. I can't say because we're on stream. But it's a pro. It's it's a thing you can grow and smoke. In a relaxed uh, <laughs> I don't know. I was expecting one direction and then the other, but as someone. I mean, to be fair, though, they do go together. <laughs> I, mean, I was like, you shouldn't smoke sex. That's not how that works. Oh, the other thing. Okay. Well, all right. I see. I got. You. I get what you're saying. I get the picture. I see. I see but, what you're dropping, Cyber, and I'm picking it up. No. <laughs> I'm picking it up, even though the cops might be upset if you pick it up. But you can't, um, you can't talk, you can't, you can't, you can't blatantly say what it is on Twitch because that's toss and that can get me in trouble. Let's, let me get paycheck one before I get kicked off the site, right? <laughs> that would be, that's the wildest thing. I'd be able to say that. Imagine, there's someone who's been playing like, just a regular like, gardening game. Because there's gardening like, sim games. Oh. And they said the name of that thing in relation to, you know, the type of plant that grows where you don't want it. Yeah. And they got banned on Twitch, and they did not understand. There's that person still banned. Go! I don't know what I did. I played garden set games. What the fuck? I mean, you Why have I... you have to be careful because sometimes the, the or there are bots that just um, there are bots that just look for these things, and you know Twitch doesn't really put in 
I say Twitch doesn't put in the effort, it's just Twitch just thinks that this bot is going to do its job. No, it's okay, you can say Twitch doesn't do it. That's fine. No, that's allowed here. That's no... We don't have to pretend otherwise. After all, like, Twitch is the place where, like... I want to get sad. But, um, Twitch is the place, you know, which had all those trans hate raids. And, like, queer hate raids a while ago, because, you know, Twitch... Twitch needs slightly better moderation. I don't think you should ban me for that, twitch.tv. Twitch.tv. I think that's fair to say. Better, oh. better moderation than Twitch would be great. Genuinely. It would be very good. I would appreciate it. But also, fucking hey. these robots are so cool. Yeah, they are. I have actually seven of some wild robot designs, which are just like, someone took, like, and then I attached, like, a, a gun to my choo-choo train. And they went, that's my robot. And, like, my brain's like, I love that. Oh, hey! That's sick. That's, that's great. Oh, hey! Wait, um, someone's in, so, someone, someone familiar's in chat. Let me just... Uh, hold on. And they're also a first-time chatter. Uh, this is either... A truly Julie Chase. Either... You're... Uh, either your are Either you're Shanene or somebody else I'm thinking of. Hello, there. Nice to meet you, I'm Amy. Um, I'm a friend of Cyber, and... Sister! Cool. Sisters? Friend. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm Cyber's sister, I'm a cool uh, trans VTuber who has yet to debut, and I'm here for the first time, looking at Zach Fair turning straight men into the homosexuals they always want. Nice to meet you. Good to <laughs> meet you. TJ's fine, or that, or that, or truly. Gotcha, gotcha. How you doing? What's it going? It's, it's, it's interesting to see you in my chat. I'm always, uh, um, I'm, I always see you over in Gray streams. But hey, welcome to my, welcome to my neck of the woods. Who's Gray? They Gray, the... Gray is a, uh, yeah, Gray is another IRL friend of mine who's also a VTuber. And, you know, I'm kind of like, I've kind of streamed just to help build numbers, so to help him with his stream. Because that's Ooh. what I do. I, I love to help my friends. Very good it's, it's almost an addiction. What the hell? That was in this house? I get that. You know what? Hey, everyone, remember. Always have friends who support you just as much as you support them. It's a good thing. It's a good deal when you've got friends who got your back as much as you, they got yours. Do people care about you as much as they care, you care about them? It's a good deal exactly. for your heart, honestly. Um, I spent years trying to like buy people video games so they'd be my friend, and then I went, wait, I don't have to do that. The people I want to give games to already care about me. And yeah. also, there are people who I do that for, and then they give me a game back, and I'm like, oh, it's because they care about me and want me to feel the same way I made them feel, feel too. That's pretty nifty. Exactly. You know, <laughs> like, yeah, you know, put an effort towards people who put an effort towards you, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know? yeah, that's, it's absolutely 110%. That's what you want when you, like, hey, uh, hey, people in the chat, what is, uh, even if it's like just random or a small thing, what's the favorite thing? You don't have to say obviously if it's like a sex thing. Or what's your favorite thing if that you've gotten as a gift from your friends? For me, um, one of my favorite things I ever got as a gift from a friend was a golden uh, uh, Labrador plushie called you, Daisy Emily, which is one of my favorite gifts from um, my partner my uh, Alex. Who I really love, uh -huh. and uh, also um, they are lovely. And when I'm in a very small space, I call them Daisy Emily because I love them so much, and they are very good to cuddle. Oh, let me just um, let me let me just catch up with chat real fast. So, um, truly, uh, truly is saying or TJ? Yeah, we'll, we'll go with TJ for you. All right, so yes, yeah, so TJ says uh, they they like Gray. Yes, yeah, so yeah, obviously I know them from Gray from Gray Stream. Uh, they're agreeing with you. Avoid toxic people. And um, also, they said they were re they received the hug, and that's nice. I mean, that's yeah, a very sweet thing. That's just as valid. If your thing that you love the most is just contact, that's just as valid as anything. Some of the best feelings of my life are people just reach out to hold me and make me feel safe in that arms. That is perfectly wonderful. Intimacy does not matter what gender, identity, sex, nationality, race, who you are. Intimacy. And people you care about. Perfect. Ten out of ten. Wait, the most expensive thing. You, wait, the most expensive thing you've gotten was a sex doll. God damn. Or, or sex. I mean, 
if you got a hug from a sex doll, that's a very good sex doll. And also, I hope it felt good. You know, because I, I'm not sure how good silicone is for a hug, personally. As someone who's worn a breastplate as a trans woman, mm -hmm. silicone's comfort can really vary depending on the day and how hot it is. So I'm glad it was comfy, if it was a good cuddle, but you know. I'll have a... I know body pillows are actually... There are people who like it for non-sexual reasons because they're really good for cuddling. Because <laughs> they're very, um... They're Wait, designed. You, know, you, you you say that, right? But um, what's it called? My friend designed a body pillow for me, and I'm gonna I'm gonna print that out and actually put it on a print it out and actually have something to hug hug when I sleep now because what's it called? I sleep I sleep on my side and I'm hurting my knees doing that because you know my knees are on top of each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that. My shoulder aches. I'm I'm getting older. I'm a ripe youthful age of uh, thirty one. I almost said thirty two and forgot my own age. Um, but I am currently, I, I hurt my shoulder, or my shoulder aches when I go to sleep like that, and I need to do more stretches. So, um, I get that, but also, the actual question that's more important than any of that, what's on the body pillow that's being printed off? Cyber, what, what, what's being printed on there? Is it just a blank sheet, or is there a, is there a it's, picture? It's a, it's, it's my friend, it's my friend's OC character. Oh, that's really sweet, actually. That's I want my characters to give you a cuddle. A little that's bit. Very sweet. What's it called? Like, uh, like, uh, what's it called? Teddy babes or plushy dolls? I've never heard of that. Wait a minute. Is this like talking? Wait, is this safe to talk about? Like, actually, no, no, no. My friend Kite talks about bad dragon, bad dragon products. So I think it, I think we're okay with that. Yeah, no, obviously don't no, don't cause Twitch to come down with the Twitch Twitch uh, nastiness, but. Um, yeah, I mean, if you can talk about Bad Dragon on here, I think it, we're, we're good. Um, but, uh, plushy babes, did they say? Or, like, is that, like, plushies? Just regular, cuddly toys? My guess it's, like, an own- my guess would be it's, like, an owner hole, but it's a plush. Huh. Well, this is such a weird topic to talk with my, with my PNG tuber sister! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> I love the fact you... But before you said that, you delivered that with such gentle inquisitiveness. Is this an unhole? Bum, like, thinking emoji? And I'm thinking, like, holy shit, can I, am I allowed to talk about this around her? <laughs> gesture, gesture at the butterfly. Is this an unhole? Please be a good friend. Oh. <laughs> oh no, we did it, everyone. See, okay, welcome to the first and last stream that I will ever be. <laughs> <laughs> with Simon. Welcome. That was the last. If, if I'm Welcome. if I'm if I'm banned if I'm banned on Twitch, I have YouTube as a backup. What's it called? Um, I almost thought you were gonna say I have you as a backup. I'm like, well, that's sweet. I don't have a, a Twitch the streaming site dedicated to me. But Where did you, you go? <laughs> Remember, everyone. What? Wait, Remember. wait, wait. I had trouble sleepwalking, and it helps to hug while sleeping. Nice, nice. That's, that's pretty good. good. They are. Wait, that's a wait. A, a five. A five foot. Um, teddy bear you can bang. What? What? DJ. <laughs> wait. Okay. No. Hold on. We need to clarify. That's what on on meant. Alex is now keyed in and is now completely perplexed by everything. So let's establish. This is very <laughs> important. No. No. Fuck crisis core. None of it matters. Listen. Is this a tall? Plushy that is shaped like a teddy bear, a but the is the size of a human and that contains a hole through which you can do the thing. Oh god! I, I, I just I just looked it up. I just looked it up. They're 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 kind of like real they're kind of like real girl dolls. They're they're very oh, freaky, okay. and I have a, I have a fear of dolls. So oh. wait, is this doll? Wait, is this doll actually? Because here's the thing: is it it's does a, it look like a human? Or does it look like a plushie? Hold on, like I'm gonna copy, copy an image and send it to you, and okay. you can re and you can react accordingly. I will, I will not show this to Alex for the sake of that Pokemon Violet playthrough. I'm just like that. Okay, let's see. Oh, uh, yeah, I've seen this. Oh, I've seen them. I've had night. I've had nightmares of dolls like these. 
I think it doesn't help that everyone's still rem you remember the Sonic community. I think Sally Bones. Oh God! Yes, the... I forgot about. Yeah, them. yeah, that's still, that's still <laughs> deep. <laughs> it's not good. Sally Bones is the worst. Twi Do you know what Twitch? If you ban me for Sally Bones, that's fair. I'm sorry. That's oh, that's that's on me. That's oh, that's totally totally fair. <laughs> what a great first stream together, bro! Right? Right? Yeah. What? Well, well, what a hey, time! Yeah, hey, what's it called? It, 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 it could, it could be worse. It, it could be worse, honestly. It's not like the Ow. point is we're having, we're having, we're having meaningful conversations and having fun. And the thing is too, what's it called? I feel like this stream is going to be replayed a lot. So, <laughs> thank you, thank you, Amy. You're welcome. <laughs> this is clearly what my intention was to be here: is to talk about Sally Bonds and owner holes. Thanks. <laughs> Let me look right. Look you right in the camera and say, everyone in chat, this is what you wanted. So congratulations. You've been so yeah, this yeah. You know, you follow Cyber. This, this is this is what a little this is what it led up to. This is this is the actual consequence of your actions. I hope you're really happy and proud about that. I'm really hopeful. So. All but, that all that watch time led to this. <laughs> also, uh, before I do this, I had a large giraffe to hug. Oh, nice. Oh, that is cute. That's a great body pillow idea thing. Just a giant plushy giraffe. That's perfect. Oh crap! I forgot to save. Also, if you notice, I can turn my brain off and play uh, Crisis Core because that's just this is just that, that kind of game. You know, you can I can read chat and because like not to say Final Fantasy is easy because you know you know you just hit lock on, you just swing, you just swing at, you just swing, you swing your sword. Yeah, yeah. It depends, like. Uh... It's a thing that Final Fantasy is easy, but it's also like a grind. Like any Final Fantasy is a grind game. I mean, what Final RPG? Fantasy. What RPG isn't? Yeah, but it's like a thing of they have varying levels. It's like some games the grinding is a bit. It kind of also depends on the status of the enemies. Like if they're on the map ones, and if they're like random encounters, I kind of changed it a little bit. I feel like random ones where the enemies are on the map are kind of a little easier for some reason. Kind of like. Chrono Trigger and um, uh, maybe the Persona games maybe are a little easier. Well, the, the thing with, the, the thing with the thing with me is that I I want to get into RPG like not to say that like you know like RPGs were gatekeep for me but they kind of were when I was younger because I just I I like Final Fantasy X and all my friends at the time were all like you like Final Fan you like the worst Final Fantasy game you could have chose any other game but you chose ten I'm like but Blitzball. Blitzball, and also Waka, Waka being a weird racist, <laughs> and also Yuna being really in those pretty dresses, and also Riku, the... Riku, Riku's so fucking hot. Riku is super hot, but also like uh, and again, the lady Orin. The I, hate, I, hate, I, hate to, I hate to go back to things, but Orin, that lady in all the belts with the Moogle is just the hottest lady on the planet, and started an entire <laughs> JRPG goth movement by herself. And also, it's full of the memes. It has the uh, it has other world, which is again one of my favorite. Just what is this song doing? But it's so great music pieces in it. Tazanakin is also really pretty, and like Blitzball. <laughs> oh wait, also oh, let, let, let me just catch up with chat. They don't make Teddy dudes yet. They do make those animal plushy sex dolls. That's a different company. Oh, okay. Let's go. That's a. Uh, that's that's board that's boarding on the B word. We're not we're not touching that one. Unless they're anthropomorphic. Oh, oh, oh. Unless they're unless they're anthropomorphic. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Honestly, it's not problem. Um. No, I got nothing. My head, my head was, my head traveled. I was, I'd already traveled away from this to Final Fantasy. I can't go back. The boat is sailed. I've already <laughs> left the port. The SSM is sailing away, and I have to go. Okay, I can't come back. It's not possible. But I will say, uh, no one should gatekeep Final Fantasy because Final Fantasy is a mess oh, across all of them. And um, all of them are your hot, messy fave. All of You can defend your own Final Fantasies to it, your AT, but basically what I've learned playing a variety of them is just they're all like whatever boy band like you liked that is clearly a mess from back in the day. The same one is better than the other is the equivalent of saying like, oh, 
God, you like like Westlife or Backstreet Boys? Well, I liked NSYNC and going, these two portraits are exactly the same, but with different colors. It's it's not a big deal. Uh, like, <laughs> it's, it's the office yeah. mean, right? They're exactly yeah. the same image. Culper wants you to find the difference between these two pictures. These two pictures are exactly the same. Hey, guess what? When people liked uh, Bravely Default and Square were surprised, like, oh, people like traditional JRPGs? It's like, yeah, because they played, like, nine or ten of them that were the same and really liked them because they were the same with different levels of paint. People like Final Fantasy, and they always will. Even the ones where they're like, oh, this isn't seven. Yeah, it's not seven. It's twelve. It has Vaughn. It's very silly. It has this hot rabbit lady. Who cares? Oh, that fun. hits. That hits. That hits the furry neuron on me. Yeah. The, our race all wear high heels. I see. I, a homosexual woman, have no particular feelings about women all wearing high heels and being really pretty. I've worn high At heels all. before for a cosplay. It's not easy. Oh well, yeah. Now I can imagine that's like. But she is like the heels are like elaborately yeah. artificial metal with Do lots of <laughs> patterns in it. No, would you like to guess who I was cosplaying as? Why? Why I was wearing heels? Why? I was uh, dressed as Alucard from Castlevania. The Night Version. Uh, who has heels? Uh, really? Well, he had he had black heels. What's it called? And I broke my mom's heels. And uh, what's it called? She to this day never 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 let that go. <laughs> she would never let that go in the funny way of. Or you know, or was she very upset about it in the way? You like, broke on, my, Lord. you broke my Gucci heels. You know how much, you know how many child support checks that cost me. Gucci heels. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, uh, I am now very much with the. Oh, sweetie. Oh, honey. Oh no. You yeah, done goofed. You, you, you earned that you, beating. <laughs> you have fucked up, man. You have fucked up. Oh. Well, my mom was yeah. bougie though, so what's it called? Yeah, but, yeah, I mean, yeah, of course she was, she had Gucci heels! I know. I don't know anyone who has Gucci heels. Well, I, mean, I think they were Prada, I just say Gucci just to, like, you know, enhance it. Prada is no less, like, Prada is still, like, come on. They are from the mall, all I know is they were from the mall and they were expensive. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> oh, goodness, man. Oh. Jesus, guys, they are throwing everybody at me right now. Oh, nice. There are, there are a lot of people? No, no, people? no, 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 they're throwing a lot of enemies at me. Like, 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 variety-wise. Oh. oh, people just said, fuck you up. That's me. The video game's like, I'd like to beat you up now. Yeah, he's doing good. You know, this motherfucker's doing good. Let's, let's throw in a robot. Let's throw in robots and guards. What could possibly go wrong? Well, shit. So, I have to go. Yes. Because I... I have someone who uh, wants to try and talk for a bit, and they're very nervous, and I want to go help them chill and calm down. But of course, also, of course. Well, also, I mm -hmm. really had fun. This was really lovely. It gave me a great, great vibe, and also, I would love to do it again without talking about Sally Buns next time, bro. Yes, so that would be really cool. Oh, before hey. you go, do you, before you go, do you want to say anything? Do you want to say anything? I'm, gonna, I'm giving you the floor with some epic music oh, apparently in the background. Oh. Oh, thank you. Um, so yeah, my name is Amy Adams. I will debut at some point. I'm a trans-dimensional warrior lady who uh, fights for trans rights, and uh, it's just really cool, and you should talk to. Um, I will debut at some point this year. Oh my um, god! So the food, the Sorry. Food I got a, I got a follow from Truly. Thank you for the follow, Truly. Welcome to the mech game. I'm several. I'll, I'll save my my spiel in a second. Go ahead, finish, 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 finish. Oh, no, that's cool. Hello, hello, Truly. And um, uh, obviously, me and my bro here, uh, Cyber, we're both done by the wonderful Asia. If you want to go follow that art, um, if you want to follow me, at some point, because I hope to come back, I will be linking to a Twitch channel that I do and a YouTube channel that I do, where me, sometimes maybe my partner Alex will also turn up. And I will have other people, uh, other partners, loved ones, friends, bros, like this cool girl here, turn up. I will mostly be, of course, because it's Twitch streaming as a VTuber and PNG trooper, streaming games, talking about stuff that matters, trans rights and other causes that we need to know about, and also um, just 
just being really cool, rad ladies, uh, in-betweens, and undecideds, and various others. So, uh, yeah, I hope to see you all then, and I will probably be, I'll probably be back here before I debut, because it will take a little bit of a while, but it's great being here. Thank you, Cyber. It was wonderful. Uh, I guess I'll get in the mecha taxi and take my way out, but um, it was really good seeing you. Yeah, and uh, again, it was so fun having the, uh, fi uh, finally able to speak to you that isn't between texts, right? <laughs> also, uh, I will also go at some point to play Akiba Strip, because fuck you. It was and great seeing you. Welcome, welcome, and uh, again, uh, loved having you here. Pretty sure my audience loves you too. Have thank a good night, and too. thank you. Be safe. Bye-bye. Bye. I guess I'm going to continue streaming for a little bit longer. Uh, let me see, did, uh, let me, let me just see if my friend Gray is online or not, because I really want to, what's it called, I am, I am really, I am really holding out, I'm really holding out for this. What a fun, what a fun time, what a fun time, I'm glad, I'm glad I had her on. Let me see, where is this at, okay. He said, yeah, I'm a little sad, how's it go, but hey, you know, I can, I can hold an audience, he says. All right. All right, let's get back to the game. Oh, Gray? Oh, so he's not streaming tonight? Okay. Then I guess I'll finish this mission and then I'll call it a stream. Only assuming. Oh, okay, okay. Or he's just tired from work, it could be one or the other. And let me see... Okay, sorry about the, the, pl the plus ski talk. I make trans comics and captions. Oh, nice! And oh, you're saying bye to um, saying bye to uh, Amy. Yeah, no, I'm definitely gonna have her back. I'm definitely gonna have her back on stream. We internet family at this point. <laughs> what can I? Where the copies are made. Go what can I read though? Because I, after this, I kind of really want to play the rest of this game. I really want to play the rest of this game on my own because I do, like, again, like it's an action RPG, but it, it is a short action RPG I can do. I don't know if there's the man. If there's the man for it, I'll, I'll I'll make I'll make it a dedicated I'll make it a dedicated stream. But for now, this is just a showcase, just to show off the game and stuff. And seriously, the Switch version plays way fucking better than I expected to. Infinite in mystery is the gift of the goddess. We seek it thus and take to the sky. Ripples form on the water's surface. The wandering soul knows no rest. <laughs> Settle down, Zack the puppy. <laughs> The grave at the house. We found the remains of our people there as well. It didn't take much to have them send false reports. Just some mild threats. <clears throat> they would have done that anyway. At least your parents would have. My parents betrayed me. They had always betrayed me from the very beginning. What do you know? Shit, relax, dogs! <laughs> Welcome, partner. 
Maybe these cutscenes are long. You finally made your decision. I'll respect your wishes, old friend. However, can you really live? On that side. Angeal! I have to create a whole separate save. I unfortunately, also, when I play RPGs, I have this really bad problem. What's Greg gonna stream? He's supposed to stream more of Revengeance, but if he, you know, if he's not gonna, if he's not gonna stream, if he's not gonna stream, I'm just gonna send it over to some, I'm just gonna send uh, everybody to somebody else then. Like, uh, my friend Kite, I owe him, a, I owe him a raid. What's it called? And, you know, cause I know, I know Revengeance, I know Revengeance so well, I could just, you know, what's the word? Help him with commentary and stuff. And apparently sing the lyrics for the fight songs, like, without hearing the music. I guess I know it by cues? This is weird. Hey, it's a dog! Hey, you pull out the gun! There's no time. This is honestly just a bonus stream, because I have no idea what I'm streaming on. I have no idea what I'm streaming on, uh... On YouTube tomorrow. We can't leave any evidence. I'm gonna have, you know, I'm gonna have Thursday off, so you know that gives me time to finish setting up the proper, uh, the proper alerts and stuff. I mean, the redeems. Are you sure nobody is at Angel's house? Huh. Angel's house. Hurry. Definitely Thursday. But maybe I'll do another bonus stream on Thursday because this game—I actually really am enjoying this. Pay close attention to the fuse sound and the shell color. That's all the advice I can give you. Fuse sound? This sound. Keep your ears open. The sound will indicate the right time to attack. Watch for the shell's color change too. Keep playing, well. Yeah, yeah, true, true, true. Fuse sound and color, huh? To get to Angel's mom quickly. But I do want to play. I do want to play this on my own, and I have to worry about like you know entertaining an audience. That, that, that's just me, though. That's just me. Let's see. Enemy cannon shells will fly towards you. Destroy them with your sword. Uh, when the shell heats up red, that is the time to strike. Okay, let's do this. Oh crap! Forgot about these. God, this looks so good for a damn Switch game. Oh, there's my combo. Why did it change the carry angle on me like that? Why change the camera on me like that so randomly? It's super weird. Or at least not off weird, it's just off putting. I can't do the my god. Oh, you're gonna get it on PS4 or Switch?
Which, nice. How's this guy from killing his mama? I agree, it looks impressive, right? Also, I think uh, the updated version of my of this model of the controller of the gamer hands model looks really good. Little sparkly little sparkles gives it such a nice little detail, no? Oh damn it, Janice killed his mom already. mother could not continue to live and neither can her son what are you talking about what's going on here i told you you can't live on that side anymore and deal and deal my friend do you fly away now, to a world that abhors you and I? Shut up! All that awaits Shut you up. I'm is a somber you. morrow, no matter where the winds may blow. I don't see Sephiroth today, but are you game? Oh shit, stuff's happening. Is that Bahamut? A summon! Damn it! Activating combat mode. God damn, he does a lot of damage. The red eyes and the black dragon. Joey's voice. Prove your honor to me. Oh yes, the red eye, the red eyes, the red eyes, black dragon. Act is just fucking beating the shit out of it. Oh god, Bahamas, that's a good design. The fuck, dude. Yeah, was I supposed to lock on before I did that? Concentrate. I'm feeling it. That's gonna kill me. That's gonna fucking kill me. Oh, did I only get 200? Okay, I got scared. That was gonna be like an instant kill. Hey Kuma, what's up dude? Well, 
Woke up nice. Oh, well, hopefully you got a good rest. Fuck, that killed me. <laughs> well, I'm doing a showcase of uh, Final Fantasy Crisis Core Reunion because not only it's a new game that came out, it's also a game I really want. It's it's a game I really wanted to play. Let's change up Blizzard for Thunder. Maybe Thunder does more damage. Actually, no, Blizzard does more damage. Let's change up Fire for Thunder because it does the same amount of damage, but maybe it's weak to it. I'm lucky. Blizzard Blade? What? We're going to keep Cure. Why well, hate? I'm curious. I hate Square Enix, but me watch, anyways. Is that for you, I guess? Oh, wait, I can do other sets? Let's stock up on potions because I fucking need to be able to do damage. All right. Oh, it's not the dropping thunder thing, like in... Alright. Can't reach. Is this boss supposed to be difficult? Yeah, it's, it's if it's if it's a bottle net. Maybe I just suck. Let me call me, call me. Oh yeah, lightning does do damage to him. Okay. This fight. Hmm? I mean, it's been years since I played this game, so like a lot of a lot of stuff is just gonna have to come back to me eventually. Holy fucking shit! Change my Good 
Shit, shit. I don't want to just spam magic on him, but I'm going to have to. Ah, uh, so close to fucking making him break. That riveting gameplay people come here to watch, right? Just me spam magic spells. Thank god this thing works from a distance as long as the enemy stationary. Get! Heal up! Ah! Oh, they didn't weaken it so it's gonna probably do a lot of damage. Holy shit I was right! Let's change up my equipment again. Probably lightning wasn't doing damage to him. Oops, that hurt. Yeah, yeah. Power attack, dude. It does 28, so... Get rid of Assault Twister for... Power attack. Thunder wasn't doing shit for me, so we'll switch you back to fire. Okay. Uh, I forgot to equip equipment. I'm an idiot. Hi everyone, how are you? I'm doing pretty good. Oh, how you doing tonight, man? Thank you for swinging by. Having a good time. I had a guest on earlier. Super chill lady, my PNG tuber sister. And uh, as always, uh, what's it called? L. Um, L. Thank you again for always commenting on my YouTube ch on my YouTube stream. I mean, yeah, my YouTube videos. So much appreciated. That's such a wind up. Ugh. I feel like that does damage if it's such a long charge up. Oh no, I'm gonna keep this equipment set up because I think I thought of you when I saw the new armor core and I was nice. 
I need, dude, I was so excited for Armored Core. I'm so excited for Armored Core. Supposedly it's going to play like a Souls-like game, so I can't wait to see how that works. Two fifty, okay. I think I cured us so much. Ah, uh, fight, dude! If this, if they make a new armored core with the same scale as Elden Ring, another game of the year. I mean, yeah, that concept alone, that concept alone is beautiful. God, okay, I think I'm I think I'm at enough health for this can uh He died then start over. I left for like two seconds. Jesus no no it's because I uh what's it, I did not uh did not I uh, wasn't properly uh equipped or I didn't ha have myself set more stable. Words, how do I use them? God damn it. Oh my god, I gotta I got a freaking um omni slash off. This game, believe it or not, I'm, believe it or not, I'm actually having really, much, I'm having a lot of fun playing this game. It's so good. Oh, you fucking dick. Oh shit! I'm super concentrating right now. Oh, I got lucky with that one. I know I finished it on PSP. This game is so good. Yeah, I played. I I beat it on PSP. I just don't remember a lot of it though. Yeah, I'm slash level four. Holy shit, yes. Oh, finally, I, I, I never even equipped the freaking this thing. 
uh, Ifrit. Kind of forgot to do that. Kind of made the fight a little harder on myself, honestly, but... Yeah! New summon materia. Summons aren't meant to be used like this. What happened to dreams and honor? We are... Monsters. Yes, Genesis, pretty boy, the prettiest of pretty boy enemies. Neither dreams nor honor. But this is just, again, this is just a showcase. Like, I, I'm only doing like two chapters because I want to show off the game a bit. And if anybody's interested in me actually completing this RPG, you know, hey, let your voice be heard. Maybe. I'll make this the next uh, stream. I'll make this the maybe I can start Sonic. I can start. Uh, I can start this after Sonic Frontiers, or like you know, properly start this after Sonic Frontiers. Again, show. This is just a showcase thing, just to show off some stuff. Ugh. Well, you think should I make this? Uh, L, you think I should make this like a straight up full on stream? Put it on the repertoire, or make it for like next year's game? I mean, I would like to start. I would like to start new. I mean, I would like to start, like, entirely with uh, the new year of either this game or Sonic. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, stream it after Sonic. Okay, yeah. This, this game could this game could be beaten in about 13 hours. I can, I can possibly... I can definitely get that done. I can definitely get that done, uh... I can definitely get that done in, uh... Before the end of the year. And Sonic Frontiers is almost done, too. And Geo. Fucking love these little PSP themes. Save game, yes. All right. Me air for ready? No, not yet. I think that's like chapter five or chapter four. When the major story stuff happens. All right. I think that's enough. I think that's enough. I think that's enough of a showcase because I do, I do want to raid. I do want to raid my friend while I still have while I still have like a good number of viewers here. All right. Yeah, no, thank you, Elf, for coming, showing up, and thank, I want to thank my, uh, my, uh, co-host, uh, my, my, uh, surprise co-host, Amy, Amy Adams, for showing up. Loved having her on, we had some deep conversations, always appreciate those. Uh, let me see, I guess Gray's not streaming today. Where did you go? I have to remember to start stream. I should, I should make streams earlier in the, I have to learn to make streams earlier in the day for, uh, uh, my uh, my friends in the UK because they do are they are in the UK so it's kind of you know time zones time zones are a thing and they are it can be a bit of a curse sometimes. All right, but I'm gonna play I'm gonna play a lot of this on my own because I'm actually really having a lot of fun with this. All right, so with that said, we are gonna be uh, we're gonna be raiding my friend Kite, aka Kite VR. He is a awesome streamer. Uh, does a lot of does a lot of good furry content and. I think he's uh, playing. I think he's doing like a early access game right now. All right. So, what would be the, what is today's raid message? Furries? No, no, no. That could work, but Cyber in crisis. How about that? Yeah, that that works. Cyber in crisis. Cyber in crisis. That's the that's the raid message. There you go. Copy and paste it, and get ready, and get ready for the raid. All right. Everyone have everyone have a good day. Everybody, make sure you hydrate. Love yourself. Thank yourself. You're all awesome people. Thank you for showing up. And I will continue Crisis Core. Uh, well, not continue. I will properly start up Crisis Core when um when I beat Sonic Frontiers. So stay tuned for that. You know, I'll pop, maybe I'll power through Sonic Frontiers. I'll probably finish it uh Friday, and we can start Crisis Core official uh, properly on Saturday. Who knows? I don't. All right, let me get the raid ready. And thank you to all the new followers, and thank you on YouTube's end for commenting, liking, all that fun stuff. You are all awesome people. You are all loved. You have a good one. What is it? Kite. There he is. Deadly. He is currently streaming Deadly Days. Let's see what this. Let's see what this game is about. Raid is processing. So just give this a second, guys. 
I'm just too used to giving every uh, giving my co-host like a final words, but yeah, uh, this is a good. This so far what I'm playing. This is a pretty fun remake. Love it so far. Can't wait to play more of it. All right, have a good night, everybody. All right, bye. That's kind of good. All right, I feel like the the drone controller might actually be worth getting. Ah, we have Cyber raiding in with a whole bunch of people. Welcome in. Hopefully y'all are having a great time. We're playing Deadly Days, which is a silly little zombie roguelike right now. We've been dying a whole lot. We've been getting some better progression. If y'all don't know who I am, uh, my name is Kite. I do con footage. We'll be doing tarot and dream analysis tomorrow, and I'm a variety streamer. I'm your furry familiar.